It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my my peoples. Um, I'm fucking exhausted this week because I got my first pokey on Monday morning, so that's had me a little tired. Um, let's see what else. Work has kind of been... Work's actually been kind of slow this week because we've had other shit going on and I've been just kind of sandbagging a little bit. So, you know, that's been fun for both me and Lollipop. Um, but tonight, it's group therapy night. Um, and I am very, very excited. So tonight, we actually have not one, but two special guests with us on voice. Um, we both have... The Alley Beth and our very my very best friend Andrea, hip to be hippie. She's she's my she's my West Coaster. Oh my God, Viv's here. Oh, sh- son of a bitch. <sighs> <laughs> but look at all these people. There's so many people next to my face. It's it's wild. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, but your Viv is very unspecific because there's like multiple nerds. Yeah, so there's I mean. a lot. Like, pick one. Like, fucking pick one. I, I don't know what to tell you. There's a whole menu of nerds. There really is. There's there's like several. I think is the 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 actual number. Um, so as usual, we don't really have a topic tonight. So I think tonight is just going to end up devolving into whatever bullshit we start on. Um, we already started on some bullshit before stream, so we got a little bit of that out of our system, which is nice. Um, but yeah, Aww, I, it's cute. You think that gets out of our system? Listen, I'm trying to. I'm. I can't just. I, I can't tell the people all of our secrets. Okay, like, it's just. It's not how it works. <laughs> That's the secret. I'm always on my bullshit. <laughs> That's my secret, Captain. Oh. <laughs> See, oh, yeah. it's funny because we're, we're the monitor, with like the monitor that I have the stream on, is uh, a little bit to my right, but so is Elena. So like, you're looking at the Discord names to talk to them. It also looks like you're looking directly at Elena to say stuff. Hi over there. Hi. I'm getting called <laughs> out. Hi. It's good to see you. Hi. It's gonna be his tactic to call me out on whatever bullshit I start. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna turn to my left and is, just look. Now I'm just gonna is, look. Are you, are you suggesting that Zach is mental health TikTok? Ouch! No, I am not. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's 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 get disclaimers out of the way early. I am I am not a mental health professional. I am not mental health TikTok. I am not mentally healthy necessarily. Okay, none of those things. I am just one bear bringing together a bunch of nerds to hash out all the shit that's fucking with us this week. That's it. And with that, one bear, one bear, sound. one bear, one bear. Oh, there's no source. N- one bear. That's it. Okay, let's get the let's get the music started. Let's do the chill stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, say, you need to get some chill shit in here. Apparently. Ooh. How? Also, I just want to say kudos to being so close to your goal. Thank you. Um, I'm. I'm. I am super, super excited. We only have six more followers until we hit a hundred. Um, I'm. I'm just beyond thrilled. Uh, a lot of that jump in the last few days has come from um, folks over in uh, from Ken's Gaming Spot. So let me real quick. Um, shout out Ken. Shout out Ken. Uh, Ken's fantastic. Um, he's he's As is responsible for my husband's weird name on Twitter. Yes, currently Tom's display name on Twitter is Badonka Tom, which is just beautiful. <laughs> um, I don't even remember like what Viv was it? Was it you that that said Badonka the Badonka Kong the other day? And how is that how that started? I think it was I think it was Viv's fault. Uh, Viv actually came over from uh, from Ken's channel. Viv's one of the mods over there. Um, and so that's, yeah, there's, there's a really great group of folks over there. Um, it's, it's really just, just a really great community that Ken has. Um, and Ken and one of his regulars, Manda, uh, Queen Eris, um, they will be on with me Friday night. We're playing the fork knife. I'm playing the fork knife for Friday night happy hour. We're having fork knife Friday night happy hour this Friday. Um, I've never played fork knife ever, 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 ever. Um, so it's just, 
Yeah, fork knife. Right, that's the name of the game because it's. But you said fork knife, and that. No, fork knife. I, I love it. Every time fork you knife. say it, you say it, it differently, and it's yeah. delightful. Yeah. It's great. So I'm so. So we're playing. Uh, so anyway, on, on, on Friday I'm on Friday I'm playing Fortnite, and so <laughs> it's, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an experience. Let me tell you. Um, on Friday he's gonna learn how to say the name of the game and then quit. It's gonna be an experience. It's gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna learn how to say the name of the game. I'm I'm never gonna say it correctly. It will be listed correctly. Never gonna say it correctly. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I'm, I'm, I'm very, very new. I, I like, I haven't played it yet. I've got it set up and that's it. Like I haven't even gone into a match yet. I still have the intro video bullshit to watch. So we're going to experience all of that together as a fucking family. That's how it works. I'm uh, sharing you on from our uh, vaccine naps. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. So those I'm, vaccine naps are so good. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I've been, I've been trying to sneak one or two of those in this week already. Because, who boy? Yeah, and I've just got my first dose. Um, now I know Lollipop is getting his second dose, so he is probably going to be super hella uh, nappy on on Friday. Um, he's going to have every, yeah, yeah. like, he's just going to sleep. He's going to go get his shot. He's going to come home and he's just going to sleep. That's it. It's done. That's a foregone conclusion. But thankfully work has been slow. So it works out. It's fine. Um, let's see. Elena is getting her one shot. So again, she's going to be probably knocked the fuck out. Cause that's what happened to Sabrina. Sabrina got hers and she was tired for like a week. Thankfully for her, it was spring break. So it worked out, but whatever it's oh i can't be tired for like a week i get i have two days and that's it i know i know you'll be f <laughs> you'll be fine you're you'll you'll be fueled by anxiety by sunday you'll be fine <laughs> right you'll be right. fine right. speaking of fuel um so tonight i'm i only have the milk stein in spirit um because i needed i need the sugar the extra sugar in the caffeine so we're doing just straight up sweet tea tonight it's <sighs> Well, cheers, because I made a f fresh batch of iced tea today. So. Ooh, did you put mint in it again? Not this time. I went just straight iced tea. So what all are you growing now? Because I know, like, Tom was saying the other night, he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, Allison will come in and she's like, oh, I'm, I grabbed some whatever to put in this food. And it's like, and he has to, like, do a, do a double take because he forgets that y'all have fresh herbs now. So, like, what all are you growing? So, well, I have a bunch of house plants now because I'm obsessed with house plants. But, um, so in the backyard, I put together some containers. I'm not clean beds. I just made some containers. So, I've got a tomato plant. Mm -hmm. And then I'm growing I lavender spearmint and peppermint okay and then i have a container that's cilantro basil <laughs> and um rosemary Ooh. which i use rosemary like all the time especially on like my potatoes mm -hmm. so i having fresh rosemary is just the best one of those tom appreciate having rosemary put on him <laughs> oh yeah tom well loves done. <laughs> well done well done is this like oh there's a joke there's a joke there isn't there it's because he's he is in fact a potato but you know this that's true uh no tom tom does <gasps> know rosemary ken's here so. i see ken there's the a other, kid the other guilty party of my husband's weird name on twitter ken you've already missed all the fun shit man we already like i already did the i already did the shout out we talked about badonka tom like Viv has already taken credit, as he should have. Like, and and now chat has just evolved into cat sounds, which, honestly, for this channel is fairly on brand. So, fucking whatever. Meow. <laughs> uh, um. Meow. So yeah, so I've been yeah I, I'm I'm I've been thinking about like getting a little something like especially tomatoes. I oh fuck me, I love tomatoes. I just. I eat them like fucking apples. They're delicious. I love them. Now, usually we don't get like full-size tomatoes. We'll usually get like cherry or grape tomatoes. 
Um, and like, especially yeah. like the cherubs, those are the, that's the good shit. The cherubs, those are the quality cherry tomatoes. And Aldi sells them surprisingly cheap. So um, we'll go and we'll grab them from there. Um, mm -hmm. And Costco is so... the only place to get tomatoes. You gotta go Costco. They're so cheap. They are really so good. They are really good. I'm doing my grocery shopping right now. Thank yeah. you. Mm, see, but there I was you go. Also, going to say, check out if you do end up wanting to get an actual tomato plant, check out Home Depot. Because I went to Home Depot and they had big tomato plants that were pre, pl uh, pre planted, like potted, and they had the Ooh. cage built in. So you didn't have to do anything. The tomato cage is there to support it as it grows. Oh, that's nice. It's like all prepared for you. And it wasn't expensive. It was like less than $20. Lowe's will do that too. Um, the Lowe's by us especially, because we have a Lowe's basically right around the corner. Gotcha. Um, and they'll do the same thing. Like they have the, they have the, like the, the, the tomato planters all set up and ready to go and everything. Um, and those are really nice. Um, and mm -hmm. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm very tempted, but you know, right now, right now I don't have time to tend to a plant. That's a, that's a lot TM. So I'm just like, all right, maybe once I can actually get out of the house and I'm less anxious about being in the house, um, I'll be fine. You know, whatever. We'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. That makes total sense. I have the time to grow stuff, but I I don't like vegetables enough, so it's kind mm. of a waste. What about fruit? Do you like fruit at all? Not particularly because I'm so texture oriented. So you like simple starches and and chicken. Uh, it's basically that's it. Oh yeah, I mean there's some, I'm a little bit better than that, but yeah, pretty much sadly, which is not great for you know the. You should eat better. Yeah. You know. That's fine. Whatever. Mm. See, I, okay. I think yeah. sometimes <clears throat> better's in the eye of the beholder. Like everybody nutritionally has. And there's a there are there's actual lab tests to back this up. Well, mm. and fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like Lewis Black says, right? We. We are all, well, there are two general rules of health. One, the good die young, but pricks live forever. And two, we are all snowflakes. Everybody's health is different. And like, I just remember this story he tells about like this hundred plus year old man living in Brooklyn. And they asked him, you know, what his diet consisted of. And he was like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, I eat bread fried in fat back and a gallon of Thunderbird wine a week. Okay. And they asked him why he didn't fry his bread in bacon grease. And he's like, because bacon is too lean. And Lewis Black says, if he'd have gone to a doctor, a doctor would have been like, you can't do that. Cut that shit out. And he would have been dead in a week. See, <laughs> except for the part where my maternal grandfather died in his sleep and my dad had at least two heart attacks that I've known of. So... Yeah, but, but the point is, the point is, <laughs> yes, there are some things that are, that are mostly universal, but still, everybody's body chemistry is different and it reacts differently. Now I'm just thinking of total fat. Total fuck fat and water. Total fuck fat. That makes me think there's bottles of water with chunks of fat floating in it. And I gotta find that because that's the tasty goddamn shit. That's... Oh my god. Oh. So... Andrew, you've been kind of quiet over there. Anything fun and exciting going on with you? I think she's got herself muted. There she is. You are correct, sir. I am correct, sir. I got lost in the world of trying to uh, set up all of these things that I don't know how to use. Uh, that's fair. I don't really ever use, use Twitch, so I was trying to understand, and then I lost you somewhere for a while. <laughs> you know, shit happens. So, and then my phone was going to sleep, so I think I have all the settings now. Okay. I think I got it. And then I'm, I don't know, yeah, I'm just, I'm just listening. Okay. Hey, do you mind if I change your nickname on Discord for our server just so it matches your Twitch nickname? Just for visibility? I'm absolutely fine. I am absolutely fine with that. Okay. There we go. So quick. There we go. 
That way I can be less confused. Yep. Yep. Okay, so now everybody now everybody can correlate when they see you up on, you know, next to my head. They know who you are in chat. Oh, yeah. You know, I've... Me. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. See, I'm still learning. I have no idea where anything is or what That's okay. etiquette is and all that fun stuff. Listen, There's I don't... There's no etiquette here. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been in broadcast in and out for the last 17 years. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But you know what? We'll figure Having it out. Anyone? We figure it out. That's what we do. We figure it out. Yeah. Do you have a topic? Like, what else do you want to talk about tonight? Like, how's everyone's week? Yeah, uh -huh. that's kind of what I was going to say is like, you know, what's going on with everybody this week? Allie, you know, you, you, you have been wanting to, to come in for a couple of weeks now. You finally were able to get your headset so you were, you could join in with us. So what's going on with you this week? Well, this is my return to week after spring break week. So, but it's like a weird week because I'm working from home oh. this week. And then, and then starts, Monday starts the insanity because it is, hey, all of our hybrid kids are now going to be full in-person kids. Oh, by the way, we're adding some kids to the in-person kids because their parents wanted them to be in person now and we're off an adjusted schedule because we're doing testing to prepare for more testing so you know it's a whole bunch of things that aren't my favorite this is the kind of this is what we <laughs> this is what i was talking about when we i said we had started our bullshit before stream we got onto this whole thing about standardized testing and how it's garbage because according to standardized testing i know things and i know this is bullshit because i'm an idiot so, I, I know standardized testing is horseshit. Oh, yeah, standardized testing to... thinks I'm smart and that, nope. Nope. You have to be good at memorizing things and that's pretty much it. And then not being an idiot when it comes to reading grammar and uh, like how the how the question is worded. Yeah, yeah I had a memory yeah. for the trauma. That's fair. That explains it. <laughs> that, see, there you go. That's it. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. All there, that's all there is to it. Right, mm. and it, it it takes away the uh, problem aspect of learning that is vital and important. So, you know, definitely, yep. I didn't realize that my schedule was going to look the way it does with, like, the way testing is going to work. So I'm like, how am I actually supposed to also teach all the things you want me to teach? Yeah. So... Ooh, Viv. Yeah, I'm. Hope she stays safe, man. That's um, uh, Sabrina. So my 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 partner, Sabrina. Uh, she works at an elementary school, and so I mean they're they they are being very safe at the school level. Um, you know, everybody's constantly wearing masks. Everything's being cleaned thoroughly, um, which. Uh, it's nice that, you know, the CDC finally came out with updated guidelines, I think this past week, um, that said, you know, coronavirus doesn't live on surfaces basically at all. So that's good. Um, but, you know, they're still doing that. They're still keeping everything clean and, and, and safe. Um, but like just trying to push through, you know, like trying to push kids back into an in-school setting, like that's... That's tough. I, I, I cannot, you know, I, I can't imagine what that's like being a parent and just like, you know, the school says, okay, you got to bring them back in now. It's like, you know, that's, I, that's, that has to be tough. So, you know, be safe, be careful. And I'm sure you are. I just, you know, want to make sure I put that out there. Right. And thankfully, like, this is not, fully every single kid is coming back to the thing we still have a lot of kids um and that's not to say that perhaps we have i don't haven't heard yet but obviously parents who are like i don't want my kids there all week um they were okay with like the two days a week they could always switch to virtual so i don't know for sure how it's all gonna work but you know we're, we're just I don't know. At this point, I'm just like, get me, get me to summer break. Yeah. And yeah. I'll just reevaluate. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
Um, and th thankfully, we're only a couple of months out from that. So I know that's, you know, it'll be nice to have that that kind of that buffer again. Um, you know, not just for students, but especially for staff, because it's just mm -hmm. it's it, frankly it's been hell the stuff that y'all have been put through to to make all of this shit just work. Um, I mean, I yeah, uh, it's it's been less than ideal. It's I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Lollipop and I, we work for a credit union, and we're a fairly big credit union. We have, like, 1,800-ish employees. Does that sound about right, Lollipop? Like, between 18 and 1,900? Oh, sure. Something like that. And um, we, you know, we went from having basically everyone in the office to basically having everyone remote. Um, inside of a week, like they, ba they sent everybody home. They're like, go home, take your laptops and shit. We'll figure it out. And they did like in our IT department, as much as we give our IT and information security departments, hell, um, especially us being, you know, the app development team. Cause we work right alongside them for a lot of stuff that we do. I mean, they manage all of the systems that we deploy all of our code on, including like our internal use systems that lollipop and I work on our team works on. Um, our online and mobile banking stuff. Like, they manage a lot of that shit for us. So we give them a lot of shit just because they're trying to keep things secure and sometimes it, you know, messes with our stuff. But, I mean, to their credit, they got the entire credit union up and working remotely in about a week's time. Um, and it was, it was kind of incredible to watch unfold. But that's a credit union that has the, has the resources and the priorities to make that kind of thing happen, which is almost the exact opposite of school systems that don't have the resources they need normally, much less to make something like this happen in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Then there's the politics involved about, you know, well, you know, should we be at home? Should they come back to school, et cetera, and just all of that stuff. So I, being able to kind of like watch it you know, from Sabrina's perspective and see just how that's been un unfolding. It's just, it just kind of underscores how, how kind of shit we treat our, our education workers. It's, it's kind of trash. Our old, um, lawn guy actually used to be a teacher and he said he would rather mow lawns than be a teacher right now, the way things are. Uh, Viv, see, I don't, I don't get that. Like, uh, how? So they're gonna set up all of this shit for the learning, and and thankfully, you know, it's it's kindergarten, so it, you're right. It doesn't really matter because there's not anything like, like substantially recorded yet as far as as grades and whatnot. But like, uh, like, what you think? Everybody's just been sitting home with our thumbs up our asses this whole time. Like, you know, parents are sitting here, they're having to bust their asses to make sure that not only are they getting their jobs done, but now they have become like another teacher and all of this shit that they have to do, you know, during the day that they weren't, you know, they didn't have to do before because their kids were in school, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's, <laughs> I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. Sorry. I didn't mean to like laugh at you. I just, Ken's comment. And uh, I'm passing you along, Kraken. So. Oh yeah, no, no. Kraken gets he gets passed anyway. It's Kraken yeah. has been slipping through the cracks since 19. Always, that's all right. He gets you through got... the he gets through the cracks because he's all those frogs in a trench coat. See, that's how it works. Listen, listen. Th that work you turned in, put effort into, get it. You get credit for it. Moving on with our lives. Wow, you get you get partial credit. That's. I mean that's that's pretty good, I Krako. Like, I, I give partial credit, and he damn. does give partial credit. Damn. I know. Sucks to be you, Krako. You, you can't you can't outwit the system. <laughs> Just so they don't have to put up with you anymore. <laughs> and when I was in high school, I I was on a first name basis with my principal, so that kind of tells you where I was in the world. But in my defense, I did work for like. I guess yeah, two years. Yeah, two years. I worked in the IT department at my high school, so whatever. Um, so, yeah. Well, 
Andrea, what about you? What's yeah. what's, what's been going on with you? Um, I don't know. I've been trying to change the way that I focus on things. Um, is that music really loud, or is that just my I can, headphones? I can turn it down I if feel it's. Like it gets louder when I talk and I can't hear hear the focus. There, how's that? Is that um, a little better? That'd be great. Thank you. Yep. Um. um Discord does have a setting to uh, lower lower uh, volume when you're hearing talking. Oh boy, output volume. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Here, um, why don't I so why don't I cut you. the I can cut the music from you for, for while you're talking. There you go. Oh, I don't mind a little soft. It's so nice. Um, just changing the way that I focus and the way that I do work and the way that I live after being working from home for a year and trying to stay focused like I definitely have ADHD and PTSD and all that fun stuff and um apparently that maps very well to agoraphobia which is terrifying mm. um and so trying to take breaks during the day and go out but still get my work done yeah and trying to recognize what that means like does that mean that I work longer hours but I take half an hour break in the middle of the day to ride my bike for 30 minutes or whatever um, and yeah, I'm just trying to understand like what that looks like. And I think over the last year we've all shifted the way that we work and then we're going to be shifting back again too soon, hopefully. So it's like, what else has to change? I'm just thinking about all that stuff. Yeah. <gasps> Look who's in the chat. Hi, Savivi. Um, yeah, the working from home transition isn't something that you're looking forward to. I'm, I'm thankful because, so I, when I, uh, when I got the job at the credit union, that was, um, over a year, a little over a year and a half ago now. Um, Jesus Christ, it's been over a year and a half since we've been there. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Good fuck. I know you're lurking. I've been. I'm always watching you, Wazowski. Um, <laughs> always watching. Um, we actually got hired on the contingency that we spend basically 50-50. Um, so 50% of our time in the office, 50% remote, which usually panned out to be about three days a week we would be in the office anyway. Um, so it, it worked out okay, um, for a while. Cause you know, especially for folks like me and lollipop, cause you know, it's a fairly considerable commute for us. Um, we live not terribly far from each other. We take slightly different routes to the office, but it's, it ends up being about the same, um, time wise with traffic and everything. Um, and so, you know, I, um, uh, when everything when we you know did when we started work from home like right at 13 months ago now um we started it and everything has been working so smoothly that a few months into it um our vp the guy that hired us specifically to actually be partially in the office because he had too many people that were remote and he wanted like an in-office presence for our department he's like you know this is working so well we're just going to keep everybody remote full time um and it's you know that's that's been that's that's kind of been like a blessing and a curse for for me because like i i i need to be around people um and i know even like you know i i i have friends that even though they're introverts they still need to be around people to absorb that energy and andrea i know you're one of those people i am totally this human i was like i i feel like you're talking about me yep yep um, I hate work from home. I hate it so much. I'm like, it is just not for me. I did it for 10 years before this. I felt so isolated. And I'm watching my coworkers come to a similar realization at this point of like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And I'm like, yeah. And they start mentioning those things. Like, I'm just not seeing people or you can't ask those quick questions when you need help. Yeah. Um, it's harder to connect with people. And I also like, 
find myself being needier to my coworkers, which isn't a good way to work. Like I want to work and be efficient. Yeah. But when I feel like I haven't had human contact, then I get weird. Yeah. No, <laughs> no I'm, one wants me weirder than I am. I, yeah, I know. And like, so for me being, being like the extroverted, like needing to be around people person that I am, you know, working from home and being like forced to stay inside has been tough because, you know, even working remote on my remote days, I would still get out. I'd go have lunch. Like I'd go have lunch with, with Savannah. Um, cause she lives not terribly far from me. So, you know, on days that we would have remote days th- at the same time, we'd go have lunch. Or if we were in the office at the same time, because her office wasn't terribly far from mine. Um, same thing. Um, or like in the office, you know, on just normal office days, you know, lollipop and I, we would, we would go eat fucking hot dogs for lunch. Um, cause we have a delicious hot dog place and it's amazing and I'm going to buy it one day. Um, but that's, you know, that's beside the point. Um, but then there's, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, like for me, it's tough being home, but then there's folks like Viv, like Viv, Viv has to, like Viv's an essential worker who, who has to be on site. You know, I think about folks like Viv, who's, who's, you know, having to stock shelves or, you know, the folks at the credit union who work in the branch who actually have to be there when the doors are open so that people can come in and do what they've got to do, you know, as far as managing their money for in that, that they have in their accounts. And we're a credit union. Like, part of our thing is we, we, you know, try to provide services to folks that, you know, don't necessarily get the services or the attention that they need from, like, a bank bank, you know, one of the big things that we, we deal with, we deal with teachers, like our credit union was founded by and for teachers. Um, we do a lot in, uh, the Latino community because we're in Tampa. So we have a huge Latino presence. Um, so, you know, we, we do a lot of programs and a lot of, of products and stuff that we gear for, folks that don't necessarily have the higher incomes just because that's the nature of, of, um, you know, our demographic that we serve. So, um, when the pandemic started, one of the first things that our team did was we like, we basically crammed for like, what was like, like a month. We just like went fucking balls to the wall on this features that are, um, our branch folks and our online folks, like our call center folks, could help people extend out their loans. So if something happened, they had some kind of hardship and they couldn't make a payment on like their mortgage or their car or their like, you know, whatever it may be, you know, we have a person in the call center, they go in, click a couple of buttons. And if they need to push it out by three months, it's done. Like within seconds, it's done. And just to give that kind of like relief to folks. And, you know, we have, these people working in branches that have to be able to provide those kind of services to people. And it's just like, I, 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 like as much as I hate being at home, at least, you know, I feel safe being at home. Um, but then I worry about Sabrina cause she works at an elementary school and they don't have full attendance right now. Cause they still have a lot of students that are, you know, doing remote learning, which is great. And I, I think it's great that we have that, that capability, but we still have to have the people like her, on site physically there still doing like their day-to-day jobs and it's it's you know it's scary for those folks like i i couldn't imagine doing that like i i i feel you know i'm worried for her constantly now granted i feel a lot better about it now that she's been vaccinated um and so she's 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 good now but you know still i just i still worry about those kind of people because it's they, they 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 don't have a choice like they've got just like the rest of us, they've got fucking bills to pay. And so, you know, I'm just, I, I, I cannot imagine having to like being in that position where like you're, you're just kind of forced to go out into it. It's just, it's, it's tough for, for all the other, you know, for a totally different set of reasons. Um, and I think that's, that's, I mean, hell, that's part of the reason why I started streaming was because I was having a tough time being at, in the house and not seeing it or, or really talking to anyone as much as I used to. Cause I got a lot of that like in-person, like physical FaceTime interaction. And you know, I went, you know, fucking basically eight months without that. And I'm like, I'm, this is driving me fucking crazy. 
And I had been thinking about doing this for a long time. So, you know, I had, thankfully I had Tom and Tom had, had, you know, been immersed in it for a little while himself, uh, the streaming stuff. And, um, he did a tiny bit of it for a while and he didn't enjoy the streaming part of it as much, but he really did find some good communities that he, you know, he joined and, and, um, kind of connected with. And that helped give him some of that human element because Tom doesn't like people. And Ali can attest to this. Tom, as a general <laughs> rule, Tom fucking hates people, but he still like does enjoy camaraderie. And like he, when he has like a group of mm -hmm. people that he bonds with, he really does thrive on that. Um, so he's like one of the best people you will ever know when he's decided to trust you. Yes, yes. If 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 Tom has decided that you are one of his people, you're good. You're in, and you're 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 set. Um, and I mean, like, I mean, Tom's my best friend. I I know that I can, I can depend on him for anything, and I know he's always got me covered. I you know I know that he's always got my back, um, and I've always got his. It's just, if, fuck. I I mean, I literally married him and Allie, like I performed the wedding ceremony. <laughs> so, you know, if that doesn't tell you what kind of relationship he and I have, I don't know what does. But right. Cause it wasn't even a question. It was like, if he agrees, it means X, X, the one who's doing it. Yeah. And that's, that was it. it, was, it what's funny is like, I had gotten ordained online like years back as a joke. I'm like, I mean, it's the internet. Weird shit happens. Let's just, let's just fucking do it. Like, why, why the fuck not? I can fill out a form and, and buy some stuff that get a certificate in the mail that says I can do shit. And then, you know, Tom's like, hey, you, uh, you want to do this? I'm like, I've been fucking waiting. <laughs> like, you know, like mm -hmm. I, I was basically on standby. Um, so, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you know, I've, I've got folks like him and, you know, I, I mean, all these, all these folks in my life. I, okay. Viv, I am a Z-A-C-K. Okay. Um, I did. Okay. Sydney's here. So I, <laughs> I also married Sydney during the pandemic. Um, I'll tell that story in a second. Cause that one's a good one too. Um, but like just having having people like Tom and Tom was able to find some communities that he really enjoyed being a part of um, here on Twitch. And um, I, you know, I'd been playing with the idea of streaming. I'm I wanted to get back into broadcast for the longest time. I thought about starting up a podcast about something. I had no idea what. And then um, like I basically I. I'm like, I, I might as well, you know, and Tom's like, listen, he's like, if you, if you do this, which I don't, he's like, he's like, I don't know why the fuck you haven't done this already with this, this what he said to me. And he's like, he's like, if you do decide to finally do this, like I've told you, you should have, he's like, you know, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll, you know, moderate your channel. I'll introduce you to some of these other folks that you can kind of get to know and see, see how their stuff runs and everything. Um, he introduced me to Ken and his community. And so, you know, oh, okay. So you're, you spell yours the wrong way, Viv. I, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everyone's entitled to their, their opinion and your spelling is incorrect and that's fine. But I, I don't think any less of you, f I don't think much less of you for it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> well, I'll fucking throw it out. <laughs> No, you got, listen, you got to have my back on Friday when we're giving Ken shit, okay? Um, so, you know, this was, this is, this, I mean, this whole thing I set up is a way to just, you know, reconnect with folks that I, I haven't been able to see in a while. And I mean, like folks like Andrea, like um, every year I usually take a trip out to Seattle and we're coming up on two years since the last time I've been out there. Um, and you know, that's, that's like, and it's really, it's really hard to convince you to like FaceTime with me or do something like that. I know. And it's, uh, it's, it's not that it's like hard to convince me. It's just, so it's, it's kind of hard to explain the show. 
like I'm okay. So right now I have, I've got the ring light and the camera in front of me. I've got the, like a, a TV that's way too big for this room mounted on the wall back here. And then all of like my equipment, I've got a soundboard that's not even connected to anything, but still plugged in and powered on the actual soundboard I'm using. And then I have my laptop in front of me that is running this whole sh like spiel. I've got, um, a little tablet over here with the chat on it and then my phone over here plugged in that I'm using like the software stream deck so that I have all the buttons so that in case I need to I can you know throw fucking sounds out um, and like being surrounded by all of like the broadcasty shit that like gives me the sort of the the energy to do all of this stuff when it comes I understand comes... that. I think I think it reminds me of like having a lot of friends that enjoy tasks together. Yeah. And it's just um, it's... like it's very rare to get together with friends and not be doing something. Like even when you and I were hanging out, you were working on your website or something and I was working on something else and we were just sitting there watching TV like Yeah. I mean it's very normal for us. Yeah, and I mean, like, that's that's typically, like, when I go out to Seattle, I'll usually go for, like, the Microsoft Developer Conference, and I'll always go a few days early, and those few days, like, the conference itself is sort of my vacation, but that's, like, the amped up part of my vacation, where I go see all of my developer friends and all of my Microsoft people. The few days before that, that's, like, the chill part of my vacation, and that's where I like, I've been doing shit. I've been working. I go and I fly out to Seattle and I just take a couple of days and I veg and I'll walk around downtown and Andrea and I will go eat sushi together and we'll just like sit and just chill. And it's, it's nice because that's what we do. And like, because, you know, she and I have, we've been friends for so long that we just, we just kind of like just naturally vibe off of each other and we just chill out together. And it's nice to have just the presence there. And that's, you know, that's it's, I, I haven't had that. Um, and like, I worry about Sabrina cause Sabrina's, you know, she's been stuck in the house with me for the last year. And like, I'm, I'm just waiting for her to be like, as soon as I'm done being vaccinated, I'm ready for, I'm waiting for her to be like, get the fuck out of here. Go do something. Jesus Christ, get out of my hair. And I know she's not <laughs> going to do that, but you know, I'm just like, it's just, I, it, it's it's different when I have, like, the broadcast stuff around me. I mean, fuck, I don't like having my picture taken. And I'm looking into a camera that is both broadcasting and recording images of my face. It, I, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. It doesn't, by all accounts, it doesn't make sense. But you just did. I know, I know. It's... It, it, I know it's the broadcast thing. Like it, it just makes sense for me to do the broadcast thing because that's just, that's where my, that's kind of where my whole like center is. Like it's, it's, it's something that I've had a passion about basically forever. Um, and I mean, hell, like, like look all around me. Like even like, even the shit, like way over on this side of the screen and down below, like it's set up like, like a classic broadcast style. Like, there's there you you'll be hard pressed to find people on Twitch that have a format like this because no one thinks like this anymore. This is like old school style shit with like the inset and the chrome around it that looks like a fucking news broadcast almost. And I threw this together you in like half an hour one day. Huh? Did you tweet a Have you tweeted a picture of this? Um I yeah, I did a while back, yeah. When I was like ago. testing it out, it's it's been a it's been a few months since the last time I tweeted like a picture picture of it though. I want to see it. But, um, yeah, I gotta I gotta take a picture of this setup at some point just so like you can see what it looks like right now because I love this. This is great. This is this is this is my element. Um, but like, you know, like. Like Viv said, just finding those people on Twitch, those communities to get involved with, it's been nice because we've been able to sort of make friends that we wouldn't have made otherwise. Like, I probably would have never started even, like, halfway seriously watching shit on Twitch if it wasn't for all of the shit that I've gotten involved with in the last, like, five months. Um, but I did. And now I've met people like Viv and Ken and his whole community 
Um, I mean, Mo, like best friend Mo, we, we all know and love Mo. She's amazing. And she's over on um, doing Minecrafty stuff right now, doing her, her thing. Cause they've got a viewer event coming up, but again, she's got a, she's surrounded by a great community of people. And I, again, this is, this is like, this is the human interaction that I've been, that I was craving for months and I didn't get, and it was depressing as hell. Um, and thankfully there were like little breaks in between where I did have little things going on, um, or big things depending on what it was. So like, like Sydney said, I, I also married her and her husband. Um, so that's Sabrina's brother, Andrew, um, and his wife, Sydney, they got married. Um, they got married last year and they got married in the middle of all of this stuff. Um, and it was, you know, like I, I felt bad for them because they had been planning this thing for a while. And then suddenly this pandemic comes out of nowhere. And then they have like, what was it? The stuff like got really serious in March and then their wedding was in August. So it was just like this whole, like, you know, like five months of just all of this shit. Like just, I'm sure them scrambling, try to figure out all of this stuff. And then literally the weekend before the wedding, their minister dropped out. Like they, he dropped out. He... You know, he got sick. I, I I don't even know if they ever found out whether or not it was COVID, but he got sick and then just wasn't responding to them. And so, like, they basically are like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? And I'm like, I'll, I'll fucking, you know, I'll do it. Um, yeah, and it got serious again. <clears throat> and so, you know, we, we in inside of a week, I had to plan my part of their wedding and make sure you know I I got it all you know ready to go and done right. Thankfully, you know I had I had the chance a year prior to go through all of that stuff with Tom and Allie, so that I knew how to do it right. Um, and you know I I knew the kind of stuff that I needed to take care of. And and you know Sydney and Andrew they 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 were very laid back like they. They didn't want anything like like fancy or, or you know just you know everything. Well, yeah, it's fine. I was just not gonna get married. It was I was just gonna vibe. It's fine. Just whatever. Just whatever. Fine. Um, but you know, like being able to go out there and be a part of that, you know, and I know that, that was huge for Sabrina because that's her baby brother and he got married and um, you know that also was like the cat or like the 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 first part of them moving um, here back to Florida for him to Florida for her for the first time. So Sabrina's brother, you know, her baby brother's coming home. And so, you know, that was big, big happy time for everybody. Um, and, you know, like I got to have some of that. And as, as nervous as I was being around people in the middle of this pandemic, you know, I still got to have some human interaction um, so like, it was kind of a, it was a split, like, oh my God, you know, what if I get sick, but also, oh my God, there are people like I can be around people for like a few minutes. This is nice. Um, and then there was some other shit that went down in the middle, like on the way there, you know, we got rear ended and that was a whole ordeal, but it's fine. <laughs> you know, it <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It's. It's interesting to me how this whole thing has kind of it was... changed the way I perceive social interaction. So, like, for you, it's like, oh, I'm around people. And I I have this thing where I'll be watching television if I don't, if, like, if people don't have masks on. I'm like, why don't they have a mask on? And then I realize I'm watching the Golden Girls. Um, so it's like this hyper awareness of other people are around them. Yeah. Um. I don't know it's it's been interesting for me because i've not really i mean i'm a teacher so a room full of kids every day you you get used to being around a lot of people who want your attention but like i have never been so hyper aware of other people around me before yeah um and you know like even today i was i ran out to do a little shopping and like somebody like super got close to the checkout line and I like listen 
I, I don't want to be next. Like, I don't want to be near you. It's not you. It's a pandemic, but just move away. You know, like, I, I kind of wonder what, what the lasting effects of that will be. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, I, no, I absolutely, I, yeah, I'm with you. I mean, you, you know, we, Sabrina has I'm had. On the, I'm on the other side of that. My avoiding people is now normal and it's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Elena's like, I don't know what y'all are talking about. This is great. I don't have to go near people. People aren't coming near me. Like they're fucking all the way off and I am just here for it. <laughs> Kind of, yeah, that's kind of exactly how I feel. Yeah, like, yeah. Sabrina was kind of running into some of, the, sort of the, like you like you were talking about, Allie, with the hyper-awareness, she was kind of running into some of the opposite stuff, because now she's had, like, she's just so used to wearing a mask all day, every day, because she's in a school. Like, she for a while there, she would, you know, she would sit there and she'd try to eat a snack, and then she would realize she had her mask on. Like, she's in her office with her door closed, but she still got her mask on because just out of habit. And like, she forget that she was trying to go like eat, eat something. And she's like, why won't the food go into my mouth? And then she realizes <laughs> she has her fucking mask on still. And, but like, you know, it's well, just, I've, I've done the whole lean down to kiss Tom and I, we have the masks on. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> That that's like, also that's done. also happened with Sabrina and me. Yep. And it's just like, you know, and for me, like since I am a teacher, like I I have to have it on all the time because I'm like never alone ever, unless I go to the bathroom. It's the only time you really get to be alone when you're a teacher. But you know, it's interesting how I forget sometimes I have it on. Yeah. That's so. So I've had like some of the similar reactions, like seeing people on TV and they're they're not wearing masks. I think is something a lot of people have experienced, and just feeling weird about it, um, or hugging on a TV show. But I don't ever wear a mask because, well, okay, except when I go out of the house. Like, please. But you're not but you're in the house by <laughs> yourself all day long. I'm in the house by myself mm -hmm. for the most part. I don't have people around me. My the area that I live in is fairly suburban streets are really wide i don't come across people when i'm walking i wear it when i'm around other people um and so i've had this weird reaction when i go up to talk someone to someone like to pick up my starbucks or whatever where my first reaction is to take my mask off and it's just this split second of oh i should take this off to have this conversation with this person think like realizing no you don't take your mask off like, yeah yeah. Just this weird impulse. And so I think we're also going to notice a lot of those as we go back to society of there are going to be leftover impulses to do things that we just are all going to collectively notice at once. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of just want it to be a normal thing for us to just be okay wearing masks out in public. Like, honestly, it, it would be kind of a nice thing just to, for that to just be normal. Yeah. I don't. Like, even after the pandemic. Yeah, I don't need it to be like everyone all the time but i would i would love to take what i've seen done in other countries where if you're sick or you're worried about it or whatever you wear a mask and it's just normal and no one's like it's not a freaking political statement or anything it's just you do it and no one says anything and we move on with life just the like, normalization of it yes i yes. would love for that to yep. just stick around as normal i'm not even saying like everyone needs to but like that way if i want to just for my own like neuroses cool and i don't my... have to have a discussion on it yep yeah you shouldn't it definitely shouldn't be <laughs> but mm -hmm. my personal prediction is like within three months no one will ever like be wearing a mask anymore i think this is the going to be the perfect example of people forget history so quickly and they're just going to forget and they're going to move on and they're going to pretend like it didn't happen. Well, oh, I agree no with one you. will I just... wear masks and yeah. And I mean, even, know. even around here, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like even around here, um, there was an article in, uh, one of the local papers just a couple of days ago about how, um, the County North of us. And for those of you who are familiar, that's Pasco County. And for mm -hmm. those of you who are familiar, I can already hear you cringing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pasco County, they just lifted their mask mandate like in the last couple of days. And, um, you know, they're 
course, being the 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 news station, or I think it was a, an actual news station, not a paper. Um, but like interviewing people for this news story, they're talking about how you know how are businesses dealing with this, and a lot of businesses are still saying, you know what, it's it's still going to be our policy to require masks, and we've got you know our our employees are still wearing them. We've got a lot of our patrons who say they just they feel safer wearing them. Um, and you know, we've, they, they interviewed like this, this couple, they were at a restaurant where they have, where they're not wearing masks right now. They were outside or something. And someone, you know, this woman's like, there, she's like, Oh yeah, I'm thrilled that we don't have to wear masks anymore. Hell, my husband and I haven't been wearing masks for, for months now. And it's like, the, the, <sighs> fucking what but I, and i mean like the fact that it's it's not even surprising is just you know like it, it's it's so bad and and just people people don't think about the consequences not just for themselves for other people but even for themselves and then you have you know folks that are working you know in these places in these restaurants or stores like viv said you know viv's viv's in walmart he's stocking shelves and he can, you know, the best that they can do is politely encourage people to, to wear their masks. But then people are going to yell at them. And then what, what, what recourse do they have? Like, they just have to sit there and take it and, and just, you know, deal with this abuse from people who don't care about the consequences of their own actions. And it's mm-hmm. just, like, I'm, I'm... I hear you. I'm very concerned My- about, like, the post-COVID world. Right. My sister works in retail in Texas. So they, you know, lifted the whole thing like weeks ago now. And I know that she's just like, like, as far as I, I'm pretty sure her stores are still requiring masks, but I haven't asked her recently, like, how that's going. Cause she works for like a clothing store that's like middle range. It's not high end, but it's not, you know, um, so it's kind of interesting to hear kind of how things are going in that realm too, because you can have some very intense people. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put it at that. Yeah. And like, it, it kind of comes back to what Sydney was saying earlier, you know, like for the introverts here, you know, kind of being sent home and being isolated you know, it's, it's, I'm sure for a while it was a breath of fresh air being able to, you know, be in your own space and not have to worry about those outside, you know, distractions or whatever it may be. But then now you're, you're suddenly getting thrust back into the world after not having that human interaction to keep things sort of balanced and, and understand how to do it. And hell, even me, like I'm extroverted. I, I, again, I love being near and around and with people and I'm at the point now, like, even once I'm vaccinated, I have no idea. I have no idea how I'm going to go out and do shit. I have no idea how any of it works because I haven't really done it for a year. So I don't know how it works anymore. And now I have this this social anxiety about leaving the house and doing things with people because I'm like, how do human, how human do not know. Well, you, you you don't you never did you just bear. Well, that's true. I do, I do. But still, like, I still have to translate to human at some point, and I'm just like, eh. so I'm, you know, it's just growl at them and run off into the woods. It's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> honestly that's not the worst idea. Bear. It's that's not the worst. No, do human bear instead. Bear better. It's true. Bear better. <laughs> but yeah, like no one does. No one no one knows how to do this now. So like now we're all going to be like stumbling back into it and trying to figure out like how do we do this? And maybe it'll give us a chance to establish some new societal norms. Um I've seen people talking about how they would like to see handshakes go away. And you know what? Like I enjoy a good handshake, but as the norm, I wouldn't mind seeing it go cuz like I I have mm-hmm. two speeds. I'm like, how's it going? Or like I'm, I'm coming in for a hug. Like that's just how I am. Cause again, I am a bear. I'm, I'm a big fluffy bear and not to brag or anything, but I give the best goddamn hugs on this planet. And again, there are people here who can attest to that. Hugs. They are lovely hugs. Thank you. 
I I really would like the new social norm of not touching people you don't know are okay with t being touched. Like <laughs> to just stick around because like like a hug from a friend or something I'm totally cool with, but the random people at my work touching my hair is just like it's mm, the fastest yeah. way to get punched by me, and I'm really trying hard to you know keep this job. If anyone, so I'd really like that to stay away. If people, if you end up back in the office and people start touching your hair, let me know because I have this really fine tip flat flathead screwdriver, and I, I'm just saying I could slip and fall onto their neck. Just it, it could happen. It would be a terrible accident. It would they're, be they're sweet old ladies, but just she the 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 time it happened, I like visibly flinched and shuddered because I didn't know she was behind me, and I. I, I have my things and that is one of my things and then she like made it even worse later because she's like oh I didn't know you minded that and I'm like it, I'm not like horrendously like traumatized to touch but if I don't know you're there you well, well like no no but like it doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't even matter whether or not you know someone is there or not it, it, it and this like I know we talk about this for like more intimate topics, but even at just like a basic personal bubble level, if you do not give consent to touch, then you do not get touched. That's how it's supposed to work. If I don't tell you you can fucking touch me, if you don't know that you can touch me, then you don't fucking touch me. And I have friends, I and again, I'm I'm the big hugger, but I I know that I have friends, I have people that do not like hugs. And you know what? That's that's their thing. If they don't want a hug, they don't get a hug. That's just because that's not my that's that's not my decision. That is their decision. Okay, it is consent. It is consent to touch. It is consent to do anything inside of your personal bubble. And like someone coming up behind you and just fucking touching your hair, like get fucked first of all. But second of all. People don't know what kind of shit that you have to deal with. You've mentioned it before. You have CPTSD. And so someone coming up behind you that you don't know and physically touching you and giving you that like that, that unexpected like physical response. Like, it who? is the fastest way to get them hurt, and I don't want to hurt them. Right, That's, and who the so hell knows? That is, that is also the case for me. If you sneak up behind me, like, and people have done it in the past, and usually what I tell them is, Hey, I really would appreciate it if you would come into my view before you like as trying to get my attention, because if you don't, I could punch you in the face. Yeah. And usually at that point, they realize like maybe don't sneak up on this person because I and then the next time if they do, I will like visibly flinch and not swing, but like get close to it and they won't ever do it again. Yep. Yeah, I just visibly sh like it is for me. I. I've worked warehouse all my life, and I've never had that problem. Like, everyone just has their space. You're all doing your thing. You're. Yep. I've just never had that problem in those kinds of jobs. And this is my first. This was my first office job, and this was a couple years ago, more early into it. But I was just like, she just came up behind and she she touched my hair and said something. I didn't even process what she said because I was busy just like, don't violently hit the person. Just continue doing whatever you're doing at the copier, and and she just was later, and I'm just like, I'm not getting into it. I'm not, and I just had no words. I was just like, stunned that I had to have this conversation with like a sixty-something-year-old woman. Right, and like I was the... just like, I don't, I don't even know how to have this conversation with you. I'm just, just mm. whatever. Like she never did it again, to her credit. But but I was just like, it should have mm. never happened to begin with, and that's the point. It that's the point, like. <laughs> You should not have, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I would like no the pandemic of no, touch. <laughs> of no touchy to just stay. Because, like, everyone is no touchy right now, and it's it's wonderful. Yeah, and yeah. I would like that to just stay. Like, obviously, I'd like to be able to hug my friends and shit, but I would like the, <laughs> like, generic public that is like, oh, hey, maybe it's not a good idea to just touch random people. But you would, you would like, boy, this... Fuck it, I'm gonna say it anyway. But you would like to be touched on your terms, not theirs. Basically. <laughs> so, so uh, and you you accuse me of not doing phrasing. I, I mean, listen, I, <laughs> I listen. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Okay, I'm I'm gonna say things, and they're gonna they're gonna sound wrong. Um, but like, so I don't know if I've mentioned it on stream yet or not, but um, I recently rejoined the Xbox Ambassador program. So y'all know that I play 
like all of my shit that I stream basically is from my Xbox and most uh, basically all of it also is on Game Pass. Um, I used to be an Xbox community ambassador back when the program spun up literally 10 years ago. Um, and then they like had a lot of changes. They, they spun the program back up completely brand new a few years back. Um, and I just never rejoined. So I finally decided to go ahead and rejoin this week um, just because of all of that stuff. Um, and, you know, one of the things that, that Xbox is so good at is the way that they manage their online community. Um, the, like the, the, the enforcement team at Xbox, they are, they are very careful and also very strict about how they handle enforcing bad behavior. Um, they're basically like they, they, they will, they will kick you the fuck off and tell you to never come back. They will ban you. They will ban your console. They will get you. They will get the fuck rid of you. Um, but I say all that because they, you know, they have a mantra about living by not the golden rule, but the platinum rule. And everybody, everybody knows the golden rule. The golden rule is treat others as you would want to be treated. The platinum rule, and I love this, is treat others the way they would like to be treated. So again, it it puts the onus on, it, you know, like it doesn't put the onus on like you, like it puts the onus on the other person to say, hey, like I I have boundaries. These are my boundaries. This is you know. Don't come inside of my boundaries without, you know, without my consent, basically. Like, don't, this is, this is how I would like to be treated. And, and if you don't treat me this way, then that's not cool, you know? And so I, I just love that because that's, that's, that's a really great, you know, sort of mantra to live by. Like, treat others the way they want to be treated, you know? What you like, what you want, is it necessarily what somebody else wants, you know? Like okay, maybe maybe this person at work d- would like someone to come up and touch her hair, but guess what? You fucking don't. So get the fuck out. Go away. Oh, oh, savvy. Thanks for stopping by. Text me tomorrow. I'll um, we got we got stuff to we got stuff to 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 do, and maybe also maybe have some lunchies soon. Yeah, no creepy touching or just 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 no. No non-consensual touching, because that covers creepy. Also, mm-hmm. that that covers the whole that covers the whole thing. Just don't touch me unless I say you can touch me that way. That's it. That's it. No patty. <laughs> no patty. No patty. No patty. No take. Only throw. Go <laughs> patty your mama something. Yeah. That's... And as my husband turns into a literal TikTok. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I like that though about the the platinum rule because it it took a little bit of adjusting because I very much grew up in a church culture where it was a very touchy feely like yeah yep. sort of thing and so like a finding the courage to like establish my own boundaries like no you cannot like just run up and touch my hair or pat me on the back or you know touch my arm just because you want to but also remembering that because it was so ingrained in me that it's just oh you're touchy feely like I also should not be touchy feely because it's a very very hard thing to reprogram yourself from when that's literally like you were brought up to like have no boundaries or like to have your boundaries like constantly be you know, invalidated. Yep. Um, yep. I, I think that's why I'm so aggressive about mine is because I, mine was not church, but what are boundaries? We just don't know. And so now I'm kind of on the other side of fucking no. Like, I, I already I've been there, done that, have the t-shirt. No. <laughs> Sydney, Sydney, Sydney put it in chat before I, I was going to say, I too grew up in a Protestant church in the South. And specifically Southern Baptist. So, like, ugh. but, like, yeah, it's just, well, like, Viv, like, I, like, I just, 
No, like, and just no. That's it. That's all I got. Just fucking no, no. Like, just, <laughs> just like there's yeah. there's the picture of the bear with his paws up. It's just like, how about no? It's literally I, that. I that, and that's what I like. I like some of the benefits of. I mean, it's weird to say benefits of the pandemic, but I, I really like normalizing some of the like. Content. I really like the fact that I haven't been sick for a year and a half. Yeah. Because we send everyone home now if they're even remotely sick or they don't come in. And I'm not working with the one person who's the worst about it. She's on the other team. But I love the fact that I haven't been sick for like a year and a half now. Yeah. Everything oh, is Sydney. completely yep. and utterly coated in pollen right now. But because I'm like wearing a mask when I'm out my allergies have not been bad at all. And I kind of like that benefit. Yeah. Huge benefit. Yeah. Yep. And Sydney, I am so there. Like, I am so... That type of culture. Like, that's exactly, you know, that. And unfortunately for me, led to stuff I... Yeah, that was a little worse than that. So, you know, it's one of those things where just being treated as an object and then also knowing you can't treat other people like objects it takes time to like get through that yep 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 <laughs> like yep. Just, just all the yep just, just all, all the yep the yep because yep. like don't get me wrong not just for cults right like <laughs> don't get me wrong i love a good hug I don't mind a nice, you know, handshake, but like, I don't need those interactions. Like that's not necessarily true human interactions. Like what we're having here, where we're actually communicating and like being real with each other. That's, I always felt like the physical stuff was replacing, like actually being real with people. Yeah. Well, Angus, the, the, the whole point is that what you find acceptable may not be what somebody else finds acceptable. So mm -hmm. while your intentions may be good, it still may be something that is, is outside of the boundaries that someone, you know, chooses or can accept for themselves. Like you, you, you can't, you can't make that decision for somebody else. So, you know, the, the best policy really is to, to say, Hey, I'm, what what do you feel comfortable with? If you're not comfortable with this, I won't do it. And that's really what it's about. Like that's the the whole point. No, you can't read minds. You're you're right. None of us can. And that's this is something that I kind of harp on at work a lot. And that's that's about communication. Oh boy, there you go. go. There's the word. Mm -hmm. That see see see. But you knew it was coming, and because I swear to God, I beat this fucking horse to death, and then I can just continue just taking a stick to it. But it's true. It's it's you have to communicate with people. So if if you're not sure, don't do it. Just don't do it. If you're not sure, don't yeah, do it. it. Don't it don't. I, I think the verbiage is important. I think that I think a the golden rule still applies. It does. I think that the platinum rule is changing the perspective of the way that the sentence is constructed to say like instead of putting what I would like first and and applying that to other people let me take two seconds to look at it from zach's point of view and maybe consider some factors that may be more important to him than than were to me because i know him as a friend so i'll just put myself in his shoes for a couple seconds and think about it from his perspective and try and make the best choice yeah I, but it forces me to put myself in his shoes rather than staying in my own right i think it also I, I, I think it's also partially part of the reason I love the platinum rule so much is it absolutely takes all the wind out of the sails of, but they were just trying to be nice. Yes. And that's, and that's, that's, it, it, and that's, that's yep. exactly what I, I'm all about the platinum rule for is it's like, you can try to be nice. Your intention may be nice. Her intention in touching my hair, for example, was not mean. She was actually really, it was tangled to shit, but I guess it looked good. I don't know. But it, she was impressed with it. Yep. It was a nice intention, but it absolutely like threw me for a 
a bad loop. Yep. And so like she didn't do this. I will I will say that. But it you know had my coworkers been like, oh, but she was just trying to be nice. She wanted to touch it because it looks so good. That still isn't how I want to be treated. Not saying like mm-hmm. how dare she have. Well, in this case, again, there's still some consent and boundaries, but like, it's not always about how dare you have made the mistake to not know what they wanted up front, but it's now that you know, once you know better, do better. Right. So like the platinum rule is once you know how they want to be treated, it doesn't matter that you want to touch their hair. They don't want their hair touched. You don't touch the hair. Right. So, so basically mm-hmm. like it's, it the platinum rule just builds on the golden rule, like treating others the way that you would want to be treated is good to a point you know treat others with respect treat others with dignity but building upon that like for example um a friend of mine she's she's a she's a microsofty um out in in seattle um my friend jen and the first time i met jen in person we were at this event you know it was this like um this this um kind of happy hour event everybody's hanging out meeting meet and greet sort of thing and so um Groups are starting to disperse, including her group, which was like the primary core group that organized the event. And so as she was leaving, she like, she's a, she's a hugger like I am. And so she, she like, as she's leaving, she goes to like, she's going to hug me, but she doesn't do the hug. She holds up her arm. She's like, she's like, are you a hugger? Do you, do you like hugs? Is that okay? And so she asked and she, she confirmed before she actually went in for the action. Mm -hmm. Because for like me, I love getting hugged by people. I love hugging people. It's just, it's a thing that I really enjoy. Not everyone does. So by just taking that, that moment to, to say, Hey, is this a, are, are you, are you a hugger? Is this a thing that you, that you're okay with that you like it in simple? Yep, absolutely. And then big hug. Everything's great. And that's that's really what the platinum rule is about is taking that extra step and just finding out like again what's what like Sydney said you know what you are you know what's okay for you might not be okay for somebody else so just finding out you know what they are and aren't okay with um, well yeah I mean unless you're an asshole but yeah sure but also you know just. Again, just it's every everybody's a little bit different. Every, you know, again, things for things for different people are just not the same. You know, um, this is something we were talking about sort of at the beginning. Um, is like everybody's built differently, not just physically but mentally. So you know, when you um, when you think about you know what's what is good for you, for for example, like I eat a lot of kind of shit food. Like I eat Taco Bell, okay. This this is a great one because we were talking about this. I think yesterday was it yesterday I got Taco Bell. I think so. Anyway, um, so yesterday I got Taco Bell, and we had this whole discussion um, over on Ken's channel because I watch Ken's channel a decent amount during the day, and like a lot of people, you know, talk about how they get Taco Bell and it goes right the fuck through them. I'm not like that. Like Ken's not like that. You know we. We eat Taco Bell, we're fine. Like it's it's no big deal. Um, so everybody's a little bit different, and in, in how they process things, both physically and mentally. So just making sure that you know what someone's boundaries are and respecting those boundaries—that's all there is to it. I mean, it's again, it's building upon that and being like, yeah, don't be an asshole, but also like be respectful of of people's boundaries because. Boundaries are important. Boundaries are healthy. That's, you know, how we don't kind of all collapse is just by having boundaries. Some of those boundaries are obvious, like don't fucking kill someone. Don't go out and kick someone's puppy. Like those are obvious boundaries. Then, But there there are some that, you know, vary. And well, you're right. You're right. There are, there are going to be people who don't understand or don't care. And that's the thing. You... You kind of got to call yeah, those, those people, people out. You don't talk to those are the For people. Some people, those people aren't going to care anyway. It's more nope. than likely. But for the platinum rule is more for the people who do care, but need that literal statement to f- remind themselves how to think about it. Like mm-hmm. some people were literally just ra- like, we'll take hugging. Some people were just literally raised as hugging. Hugging is nice. Hugging's a great thing. Why wouldn't you like hugs? And if you go, hey, you have to treat them how they want to be treated. They're not into huggers. 
there are some people who will stop and think about it. Now, there are some who are just going to trounce right through your boundaries anyways, but they're not thinking about the golden rule sometimes. Right. The, the platinum rule is for those people who it, it actually helps them think about it. It actually reframes them. Any argument is, isn't going to con convince everyone. Any argument isn't going to get through to everyone, but there are always people out there who are trying to reframe their perspective and are trying to do better. And the platinum rule is a really good one for people who are trying to learn proper boundary setting because, or proper boundary handling because <laughs> they weren't allowed to have them. So they don't understand why suddenly, you know, mm. the adult people in their life are allowed to have boundaries. Like, I yep. wasn't, you know, if you're not allowed to have boundaries growing up, you're like, but, but why do you get to have these boundaries? So it's kind of one of those, like, you have to stop and think about, wait, no, what's important is also how they want to be treated. Yep. Those are the kinds of people that you ask kindly, but firmly, firmly to, to leave. please leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for the alert, Viv. I'll see you in a little bit, and we'll uh, we'll be on for another hour or so. Um, yeah, because I've been like sitting here thinking about this. I'm like the golden rule only works because it, like, I, it, like Andrea was saying, it centers the person, the the person committing the action right and it, that only works if that person has a healthy view of how they should be treated um and so if you don't have a healthy view of like what is okay and what's not okay what may seem like completely okay to you may not be the right thing to do to someone else yep if that makes sense yep and and like 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 elena was saying you know Again, using the example of the woman who came up and touched her hair at work, some people don't like. Some people have an aversion to that. Some people have, you know, issues to where they can't handle physical touch that's unexpected, because maybe they've had some kind of trauma, whatever it may be, that you know it it, it causes them to have you know either anxiety or you know even PTSD or CPS PTSD. Um, um, episodes where they that it just it it can do serious damage to them, and so just knowing w what those boundaries are for a person, you know, we 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 can we can be a little bit better than we already are, and you know, it, you, it, again, the people that don't care about the golden rule aren't going to care about the platinum rule, but if those are the people mm -hmm. that you know, if if people are going to be like that, fuck them, because they're not here to, to, to be part of a functional fucking society anyway. Um, uh, well, there's an XKCD. There's always an XKCD. There is, but it's... it's. <laughs> there's an XKCD for that, too. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's, it's the XKCD about free speech and the First Amendment. Like... It's it, like the right to free speech doesn't mean the gov or means the government can't arrest you for what you say. It doesn't mean that anyone else has to listen to your bullshit or host you while you share it. So if you're yelled at or boycotted or have your show canceled or get banned from an internet community like this one, you know your free speech rights aren't being <laughs> violated. They're just it's just that the people listening think you're an asshole and they are showing you the door. Mm -hmm. And you know it's. As 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 a community, as people, we have to get, you know, we have to be better about, you know, I I guess protecting our communities ourselves because there aren't enough people that stand up and say, hey, don't fucking do that. Because yeah, like think of think of the example of Twitch. You know, Twitch has they have an enforcement team for, you know, a lot of this stuff, and then they have, you know, every every channel basically has mods where they have a, people who are kind of looking out for that particular person's community. You know, I have Tom, for example, okay? And what is okay on somebody else's channel may not be okay on mine. What's okay on mine may not be okay on somebody else's channel. So Right, we can't go force someone else to go eat craisins like you, you have to. You you can't force somebody else to go eat fucking craisins like you can with me. Um, mm -hmm. But what we can do is we can take the initiative to, you know, protect those communities and 
protect those people that we care about around us and say, hey, that's not fucking right. Don't fucking do that. And for people who continue to not, you know, abide by what, you know, we've all agreed upon is okay and not okay, then we show them the fucking door and we're like, get the fuck out. You're not welcome here anymore because we have, we have a community. We have decided as a community, this stuff is okay. And this stuff is not. And if you can't deal with that and see ya, because Mm -hmm. it's, it's not worth it to put an entire community at risk just because one asshole is like, but this is what I'm, I want to do. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Because there are other people involved here other than you. There are consequences to your actions, mm-hmm. and you have to think about the other people. Okay. The assholes are never worth it. No. You, you got yourself a uh, craisin break there, buddy. Oh. That's what I was saying. When I you know. force them to eat craisins. I know. I know. All right. Let's see. <laughs> but that is something that we've established as being okay on this channel. That's we've true. established consents to randomly eating craisins. I do. I do mm-hmm. consent to eating craisins. Okay. Now, Ken, I think this is your first time redeeming the craisin break. So here's how this works. Okay. We got flavors. So if you do exclamation point flavors, you can see what flavors I currently have in stock and what I have out of stock. So t- pick something from the in stock. Or if you would like, let me know it's dealer's choice and I will just pick whatever the fuck I feel like tonight. Um... And that's how crazen breaks work. But uh, yeah, I just I, I I I think it's just about you know making sure that we're we're you know treating people with the respect that they they that they expect. <laughs> Go with the one. <laughs> Sounds like asshole wrapped in shame. <laughs> Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> Are you are you the watermelon craisin of the world? There you go, buddy. Watermelon flavored craisins. The watermelon's actually pretty good. Well, this one's got a thing on it. By the way, because you're taking a craisin break, I'm taking. You cut out. You're taking what? A Kit Kat break. Ooh, a Kit Kat break. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are in fact a watermelon. Ken, are you a watermelon because Let's see. you're all hard on the outside, but you're all juicy on the inside? Is that what it is? So if if Zach's How having ironic. raisin, wait till Friday. Then yes, there are enough for us to each have a piece of Kit Kat. If it Ooh. if Zach's sticking with the raisin, ooh, because it's like one with like four sticks on it. I don't normally mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. Kit Kats, but I wanted chocolate and it was just sitting there. I bought it for Tom, and I like had it in the the um, snack bowl for like a long time and he hasn't touched it so so it is no longer Tom <laughs> no. eat quick and make a mess Jesus <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, you think Ken's bad now. Wait until fucking Friday. Jesus Christ. That's going to be a shit show. Friday's going to be a shit show, and I am here for it. I mean, obviously I'm here for it. It's my shit show, but good fuck. But it's going to be Ken and Tom. It's going to be Ken and Tom and me. And so the most, like, grounded person in the group is going to be Manda, which doesn't say a whole lot. I mean, she's friends with Ken, so. I might bring wine for Friday night. Ooh, there you go. It is Friday night happy hour. Have the adult beverage mm-hmm. of your choice. I do have if you so one choose. little canned wine that I did not drink over spring break. And I'm probably only going to drink half of it. Good. Uh, I mean, I want You do you. We actually, I told Tom this the other day. Um, we got rum. We have rum in the house because um, Sabrina, we were watching, I think we were watching the Pioneer Woman last weekend, and mm-hmm. she had, uh, she had, she made Mai Tais, and so we're mm, like, well, yeah. shit, we, we're getting rum now, so, and Tom's like, wait, you, you, and Sabrina, you purchased alcohol, and it's in your house. I'm like, listen, every once in a great while, it fucking happens, so... 
Mm-hmm. You know, one night here soon ish, probably, we're going to make Mai Tais and just sit down and enjoy them. That sounds wonderful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. We're going to bring a Coke. There you go. Oh, listen, listen, whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to have the milk stein, this milk stein right here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to have my sweet tea on Friday, as is tradition. Completely unrelated to everything, but the cloud layer is the worst layer to build in in Minecraft. That's all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. You know, it's really fun when you're when you're doing when you're doing um, concrete the 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 fun and dangerous way, and you just put down a concrete powder and you jump and you keep putting it down, and then you get like two stacks up. And then you just pour a bucket of water down the side and collect it back up and then just mine it down and it's a race between you and the water to see which gets there first. And also, make sure you don't fucking fall off of this, you know, gargantuan pillar of shit. Um, Me? Fall off a gargantuan pillar of shit? <laughs> that's impossible. Uh-huh. You don't fall off giant pillars of stuff. You just get up to, like, way too fucking high in the end where you can't see anything. Well, no, and then I make stupid uh, cat trees climbing down. Well, that's true, too. Mm. Thanks for stopping by, Angus. Appreciate it. Um, so. Um, Did we go to Elenos when you were up here? The yogurt place? Where is that? There's one in Pike. I don't know if we went to the yogurt place, so I'm trying to think. We, okay, so um, we went to the burger stand that was near uh, Snoqualmie Falls. We're on the way to it. Yeah. Uh, we so we did that. We did. Um, um, I did. I did Molly Moons with Jess one day. Um. We go to Japanessa every time I fucking go. Obviously. Yeah. Hold on a second. That's my favorite sushi place. I've been craving them so much and I just haven't yeah. done anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. That one's good. Mm. Chicky tindy with gravy. That's... Oh. Listen. I. You know, it's really funny, Sydney. We were talking the other day and I was like... I wonder if Sydney got chicky tendies and gravy again today, because that's been Sydney's been on this kick where she's been getting the Dairy Queen chicky tendies and and gravy meal. Which let me tell you, that's it's just it's it's delicious and I love it. Um, but yeah, that stuff is good. No, I don't think I've I don't think I've been to the yogurt place. That sounds really good though. We'll go. They make the most amazing yogurt. It is like dessert in a yogurt, and it is so good. I can dig that. Let's see. Where else have I been down there? I've been to the I've been to the OG Starbucks. I've been to Proshki Proshki. I've been to um, Beecher's a couple of times. Haha. Hmm. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Let me tell you. There's this place in Seattle. It's called Beecher's. B e e c h e r apostrophe s. And they make this cheese. Now, they have their flagship cheese. Um, it's a, what'd you say, like it's a, like, a, like a medium to sharp cheddar? Like a medium sharp white cheddar? Um, and... It, yep, yeah. Oh, it's so... Fu- they have the white cheddar, too, that's really good. Like the actual white cheddar, yeah. Um, it's a... Um, I got the... What the fuck is it? I, I got I actually have a, a triangle of the flagship in the fridge right now. Um, and you can usually find their mac and cheese in a lot of frozen sections in supermarkets, like popular supermarkets. They do, yeah. They're starting to carry that more and more, and their mac and cheese is they just are. oh, it's so good. They'll use like ziti noodles when they make their mac and cheese. Oh, so fucking good. Oh. Now we're getting into cheese talk. Why why is it always fucking food with us? Cheese. Cheese.
cheese. Do I need because... to go get Elliot and have him explain to you why it's all about mm-hmm. cheese? I would love but... I would love nothing more for you to go get Elliot and have him explain it to us and give us mm-hmm. all the good meow meows. <laughs> so please go go have the cheese lover log on. But also, I don't know about y'all, but I think I definitely use food to avoid, you know, therapeutic things. So, you know, it's always food. Food's easy and simple. Um, Tom was talking about how last night he ate an entire large pizza. Um, Was it last night or the night before? It was last night. Yeah. So he was like, he's like, yeah, he's like. Larger family size. Those are different. No, a large, not like a, like a. Well, what do you consider family size? <gasps> is, that... is that Elliot? That is an Elliot. Oh my he god! Is un- he is an unhappy cheese connoisseur right now. <laughs> give him cheese. He deserves it. Oh god! Give we him got cheese today. Give him another he got cheese. His nails trimmed, therefore he uh. Oh. He got the cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, the nail trimmies. There's that's never a fun time. Mm mm. Do you want to tell us more about cheese? No. No. He's like, no. Of I just. Of you want to be quiet right now. He's like, I just want some, and I want to be not held. <laughs> just, just close the door. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Close the door. He'll, he'll tell us all about that. <laughs> the, the prince is here. Don't freak out. Everyone, stay calm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's true. We do love him. He's such a good boy. He's a very Bowser's good... watching this, just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> Bowser's like, what are you people doing with this not a dog? <laughs> Bowser's <laughs> like, there are dogs and not dogs. <laughs> and and Bowser... Elliot is not a dog. Bowser's a firm cat. I'm pretty sure he does. he's not aware of the fact that he is a dog. Oh, you think so? Mm-hmm. Oh... Oh, oh God. God! Oh, oh my heart! I can't take it. The tiny Mew. I love the Mew. It ain't, oh, it ain't tiny. Well, I mean, it's tiny to me. Oh God! Oh, oh, that's not tiny. <laughs> He's not happy. No. All right, let's go get you cheese so that you forgive me for this. Oh, what a good boy. He's Yay, such a good boy. Good boy gets that cheese. He gets he deserves every he cheese. Gets cheese. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not going to say no because I clearly eat most of the cheese. He just gets like this tiniest bit, but Oh my god. Oh, I I can't I can't I I can't deal. What a good boy. Um I'm already forgiven. He's already staring at me. He knows. He knows what's <laughs> happening. He knows what's up. He knows exactly what's happening right now. Yeah, you know what this is. It's his absolute yeah. favorite. Get here. Send him a send him a fridge of cheese for his contributions. <laughs> right. That's like amazing. he needs a mini fridge just for the cheese. He really does. Oh my god. Sweet baby. Oh, wait a minute. What if what if what if what if we got a mini fridge, okay? And we put a picture of Sydney's cat mini on it and sent it to Elliot so he would have a mini fridge for his cheese. That would be amazing. Oh my god. Yep, see? I have just blown your mind. That's it. That's it. My, my tiny baby mind can't handle it. <laughs> Put that put that shit in a shop somewhere. We're selling mini fridges. Let's go right now. I'm all for it. We'll put the picture. We'll put the picture. The one from the Critters Discord that Sydney posted on what day is this? Is it the third? Where she's like her little glamour shot with her perfect tuck form. My God, mm-hmm. <laughs> a fridge for tiny yes. smelly at Elliot. Yes. My. She's all like professional and stuff, and Elliot just sprawls and begs for cheese. Mini- okay, but that picture of him looking at your macaroni and cheese. Uh, like he's he is ready. Was, he's like, like he's like let's go. He's like, like I know what like that is. I'm getting some. Licking his lips. Oh yeah. Oh he knows he knows what the fuck is up. He knows what the fuck is up. Oh my god, that's amazing. 
Uh. Look at the cute boy. I was, boy that that was my forgiveness after I gave him a little bit of cheese. Oh, look at the face. Oh my god, look at his face. And he's got like the slight, like, you know, the pity, like pitiful look where they like tilt their head down but then look up with their eyes. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's doing that. Like, that's totally what he's doing right now. He has oh, learned I know. that he has to kind of be pitiful with me. Because if he gets on my desk, I just put him on the on the chair and stuff. And he's he doesn't want to be picked up. So he's learned to, like, he knows where to sit to get cheese from me. Look at that good boy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> my god, like, what a good boy. Huh. He's a pretty boy. Uh, oh yeah, Minnie has there. There's uh, we see. It's it's nice be living in this house because mm -hmm. um, I actually get exclusive mini content. In so much as whenever Sabrina's phone goes off and it's a picture or a video from Sydney on Snapchat, there's like a ninety percent chance that it's Minnie. So Sabrina's like, Sydney sent me a picture. Come here. And like I run over, and she turns up the brightness and the volume in case we, you never know what cute thing Minnie's gonna do, and that's that's what we do. Cats are therapeutic as fuck. Content. Cats are therapeutic as fuck, and uh, they're just animals in general. Mm -hmm. But like, there's something about cats, just like having that presence, like they just they just have a uh -huh. presence about them. I love that Tom. you're a cat person and not a dog person. I'm no, I'm. I mean, I'm both. I'm absolutely I know, both. I know you are both, but like, I've never heard you talk about cats like that. Oh, you know, it, I. It makes sense to me. But you know, you know how much I love the mittens kittens, who is just, oh, just, she's just gorgeous and just so regal. She is such a good kittens, such the a mittens. Good kitten. She's such a good kitten. She puts me to bed every night. Like, she'll come and sit in the bed, and then she'll make me, like, she'll sit on my chest until I go to sleep. That's because... You can't move with a kitten on your chest. That's cat law. You, you can't do it. Still. Can't do it. That's yeah, cat you law. You have to be careful. Until yeah, I Elliot have all yells those at us. Lights. Elliot yells at us when we don't go to bed on time. He'll, like, start newing back and forth, like, um, no one's in bed. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go, people. Let's go. Hey, listen, you got to go to bed at that point. It's cat law. You can't you you can't break cat law. Mhm. Mm I unfortunately oddly, do. Oddly enough that kind of reminds me of the dachshund my grandma had when <laughs> Tess would like do this thing where it's like it's bedtime and they lived in a trailer. You know how those have like the living room hallway where like all the bedrooms and stuff are off of yep well tess would go to the to the beginning of the hallway like just as you're leaving the living room and then she'd stop and she'd look back and she'd stare and then she'd go a little bit further down the hallway and then stop and she'd stare and it was just like this whole ritual of like hello you're not getting the clue so i'm gonna stare at you until you actually get up and follow me. <laughs> you know, it's I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of sad that Sabrina's not on stream right now because this is this is her kind of story because not just her, like her entire family. Like dachshunds are a thing in her family. Mm -hmm. And like Jesus Christ, she loves her a weenie dog, let me tell you, with their stubby little paws and their big old ears. Yeah. That's Hot dogs are just the cat of the dog true. world. <laughs> I mean, they kind of are. Right, it's true. Because Tess, bless her soul, I adored her, but she really was very picky. Like, she definitely had the whole consent thing. Like, oh no, yep. you don't touch me unless I've decided. Yep. Um. But yeah, pretty much like my grandmother and my mom. Like growing up, like they always had dachshunds, and like my mom is obsessed with. My mother-in-law's dachshund. <laughs> Anytime my mother-in-law or Tom's mom post a picture of their dachshund, my mom is just like, <gasps> "Look!" But but in but in your mom's defense, fucking look at Frankie though. Frankie is adorable. Jesus Christ, Frankie! <laughs> I love that dog. 
It just makes me sad that she doesn't trust me, so I don't get to pet her much. I know. It's listen, Frankie Frankie, she's she's a very particular dog. Like I learned that the first time I met Frankie. She's very particular mm-hmm. and she basically only trusts Tom's mom and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, you know, over the past year she's had to like learn senior. Well, yeah, senior. Just due to circumstances, senior. but like. God damn it, senior. But I'm just like, I know, right? Jeez. Or it's just like before she wanted nothing to do with him. Nothing. <laughs> like so many before think... her. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hear that the relationship has. Although I don't, I haven't heard any updates lately, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 senior! We were telling we what? were telling senior stories the other day. Wasn't it on Monday? I was telling the the wedding story. Maybe it was Sunday. I think it was it was within the last week. Yeah, you have, something like you that. Have told the wedding story. Jesus Christ, fucking senior! Talk about talk about boundaries. And... <laughs> I asked. Well, you. no, they don't know what they are. I... Right. That's. That was implying right there. I asked you to do one thing and one thing alone. And what was that? <laughs> Don't bring the GoPro. What do you do? You show up and you whip out the GoPro. That's, <laughs> that is that is the most basic understanding of Tom's father. <clears throat> that's it. That's, that's all you need to know about Tom's father. I, and why Tom has the I'm anxiety sad. that he has. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad I missed it, but also glad I missed it. No, you're yeah. Nope. I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that you weren't there for that. That you that you had your time to deal with other things that you were dealing with that day. <sighs> that story gave me anxiety. Like, oh my gosh. Um, I can't imagine doing that all the time. I think I would not interact with those people. Imagine growing up and being raised by that human being. Just like God, poor Tom, like Man, who boy? Bless, <laughs> bless, bless. bless. Abs- <laughs> that's that's it. That's yep. Um, which I should clarify. I don't actually have any real issues. My in-laws. It's just you know, <laughs> certain circumstances sometimes make you scratch your head. Yeah, and senior's not like senior's not bad. He's just a massive pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. I think he. I can't decide if he's just so unaware. Oh yeah, no, he has no idea. He has no fucking idea yeah. what's going on around him. No idea. Like unless it's like critically important, no clue. Right. Um. Yeah, I. Yeah, as opposed to like Tom's mom who. God no, bless bless her heart. She has been married to this man for over forty years now, or you know, however long it's 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 like around forty. But yeah. Oh. So what? Uh, what's everybody got planned for the rest of the week and the weekend? Anything? Anything good? Anything fun? Anxiety I, and naps. I plan so the to usual. be sick. Hey. 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 I don't appreciate being called out like this. <laughs> that's, that's what group therapy night is, friendo. It's being called the fuck out. And more anxiety than usual. I'm really tired of being this anxious, but it's going to happen through the inter- whole entire interview process. So, you know, it's fine. Yeah, it'll happen. It, and, but you'll be fine. We've... We talked about that. Your resume is in a good place. You're you've had the like the the first um, sort of meet and greet with that manager, that hiring manager. Two. Or well, Two. well, well, yeah. Well, because I had the uh, I had the group thing today. Right. That paid off. So. Yep. You'll be fine. You'll do just fine. Mm-hmm. Listen. I just want it to be over one way or the other. Honestly. I that I. Like be over. I understand That's that. Fair. Very much. I um I applied for a 
like a, a director level position a few years ago and oh, it was who oh boy it was a thing it was this whole fucking thing and like just by the time it was over i was just glad it was done i was glad it was over i was glad i didn't have to deal with it anymore it was just done um the director level things are just like a whole ass thing like that's a whole ass thing. A whole ass it's not thing. Just, it's not half an ass. It's not mm-hmm. part of an ass. It's, it's a whole ass. It's a whole ass. You're uh you're <laughs> you, <But> stuff. <laughs> you're uh you're Oklahoma showing there. <laughs> what now? Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> but I'm also like looking over right now. I have never had things last one thing. So you know. That's it. Never half ass two That's... things, whole ass one thing. That's what Ron Swanson said. Right. Yep. You should listen to Ron. It's true. Ron knows what he's talking. He he knows what he's about, son. <laughs> he I also have that quote on the letter board downstairs. Yep. My house is full of letter boards with Ron Swanson. <laughs> I mean, but honestly, is he wrong? Oh, no, never. Well, I mean, sometimes his politics, I question. But, well, you know, no, I don't. Other than that. I'm Nobody's perfect. I'm on Ron Swanson. I want one. Give me. Yes, please. <laughs> you, want okay. a, you, do you, you want one of the Ron Swanson letter boards? Yes. No, no, no. I want, I want one Ron Swanson. Please. Oh, just one Ron Swanson? <laughs> Guy who buries his gold out behind his like cabin in the woods? Yes. <laughs> Eats yes. basically nothing but steak and bacon wrapped shrimp? Yeah. So I know what. It's got your name all over it. Goal is for the rest of the week. (laughs) There's well, no. There's Ron Swanson has one flaw for you though. He's got to ditch the mustache. Mm. Yeah, mustaches I mind less than beards. Yeah. I honestly, I'm surprised that Andrea even comes near me with this thing on my face. She hates facial hair. It's probably like birds living in it or something. You uh, know. It's fine. Just a little dormouse. I, f- I feed them. I clean up I after them. I'm responsible. Hair in general is pretty gross. I like hair. I, I, I like hair. <clears throat> I cannot wait to laser all the hair off my body and never have to deal with it ever again. Hey, listen. I you got to do cool. what you got to do. You got to do what makes you happy. <clears throat> that does make me happy. <laughs> that and that and gratuitous amounts of steak. Just meat in general, but steak especially. <sighs> yes, yeah, especially the fatty bits. Oh my god, the fatty bits are the best. That's where all the flavor is. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I feel like, like when over- they get like caramelized <sighs> on the outside. <sighs> get all caramelized on the outside. Get all like. Like disintegrate on the inside. They just <clears throat> melt in your mouth. Mm. That was one of my Not goals this week. <laughs> they could melt like in your hand. Getting too. something done outside of work was to put my grill together. Ooh. And I did. So now I can do salmon and steak once I figure out why it's lopsided. <laughs> Listen, once you, once you start making that stuff, take pictures and post that shit in the food porn channel, man. Oh, I will. I don't really have a table down here, so I'm still figuring that out. It's all right. You'll figure it out. I know you will. You always figure it out. <clears throat> You're listen. You are nothing if not ingenuitive. Like you, you fucking make shit work. You, I love making shit work. It's so much fun. You lived out of a bus for fuck's sake. Like you, you figure shit out and make it work. <laughs> Let's not use that one as an example. Maybe. <laughs> well, okay, but like. <laughs> All right. Fair. Nope. My, nope. My dad doesn't like that example very much. That. Yep. I'm sorry. That. That's. <laughs> nope. That's. that's... No. 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 <laughs> um, mental health night. Right. Where I'm always fine to talk about that shit. You know me. I know. I know you mm. are. It's. Yep. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Well, my paper came in for my flowers, and so I'm gonna actually spend time not thinking about work. And trying to do a craft to take my mind off it. Yes. So, I'm getting of my art, test paper ready. That reminds me. Thank you. What? Are you, wait. What? Are, speaking of work, what are you doing for work? 
I have to go do the report so that I can sleep in tomorrow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's true. That's my work from home report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I, can, I can do it in the morning, but then I feel like I have to get up, like, immediately to do it because they want it out early so that people who don't read emails can see it if they want to. Yeah. So. I remember one time I, I worked on a report and then... I, I wrote code to time this report. I'm like, Pop, I don't know if I ever told you this story. Um, <clears throat> so I, I wrote code to send out a report by email every morning. And it was, a, it was basically like um, a metrics report on my team and kind of where they are with stuff and everything. It pulled a bunch of like data from Jira, built a bunch of charts and everything. So... You know, took a couple of days to build this out and get the, the code ready for it to auto email. <clears throat> and it worked. And it really worked. And I got a call at like 7 a.m. one morning, the first morning that it went out. And it's my, my VP. He's like, dude, he's like, why do I have so many emails? Your, your report won't stop emailing. So I had to remote into the server and stop it. And by the time it stopped, it had accidentally sent out 397 copies of this email. Oh my gosh. Because oh. I had one little line of code that was broken. And, um, well, you know, sometimes shit happens. Thankfully, it didn't affect any production data because it wasn't production data necessarily. Like... It was our, you know, our internal instance, and it was just a re building a report and sending it out, and blah blah blah. But man, who boy? You yeah. really wanted to communicate those metrics. Listen, I'm just saying. I'm I was really proud of the 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 performance that my team always had, so I had to let everybody know about it several times. So Many, several, 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 you several. Send those emails to a test list first. Listen, it's <laughs> fine. No one cares. It's fine. <laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal. So you did. You didn't. You didn't QA it, is what I'm hearing. Oh, I had to. I I did QA well. it. That was the QA process. See, I had to wait. Oh. For, I had to wait for mm. the the time to actually it, like elapse. I had to wait for seven a.m. to come around for it to actually test. So that was the QA process, and then I found the bug and I fixed it. And there's a comment in that code to this day, probably that still says, "Never forget three hundred ninety-seven emails." <laughs> actually, I think I I might even have that on Twitter somewhere because that's been a while now. Holy I was just thinking through all the things you could have done to QA it. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. No, never. It didn't go out. It didn't go out to to customers. No one cares. Zach, is this why you're friends with me? Because you need QA. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got Tom. If I need QA, <laughs> I I got QA covered. So right. That's true. Oh my god, yeah, this is... Tom QA's everything. He does, it's true. He literally, like... like... He can't help it. It's like a it's it's like a tick. He has to QA everything. It just, it has to be done. Like, like today he was QAing some leftovers. Like, how maybe he can iterate the recipe to make the leftover healing. God damn it, Tom. And he's like, he's currently QA in wrestling. Uh, possibly. I don't know for sure what he's doing. Because he said that there is a person on the show tonight that he doesn't like and he didn't want to give them. Like, he just didn't even want to turn it on. He was upset about it. So. Oh, well, I mean, that's... I don't know what he's doing. That's he fair. He put on the other wrestling show. There's wrestling, then there's more different wrestling. Right. Well, there's good wrestling, and then there's wrestlers who are good but work for a company that's dumb. Which ultimately is because of some old fuck that's dumb. But you know, that's 
That's a conversation oh, yeah. for another day. <clears throat> oh, Lord. That's like the story of everything, mm. though. It's true. It really is. Yeah. <gasps> It's so always cool because of some asshole. Hmm. In particular, an old white asshole. Yeah. Male. Yeah. Yeah, an old white McMahon. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> oh, good. So we are talking about him. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, fuck that guy. <laughs> Vince fun. McMahon sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was not sure if we were talking about that company or not and yeah no vince mcmahon sucks and not in like the fun like hanging out with kenway like the the really terrible like <laughs> oh my go fuck yourself way and like, well yeah. that's that could be fun too point is fuck vince mcmahon fuck him with a rusty chainsaw or don't because then he reproduces oh he's, he's already done that. well yeah he's done that and do it more though not if you do it with a rusty chainsaw, you see. Fair. All right. That's fine. Or, or what is it? I've seen Tom say, uh, with a cactus sideways. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> or yep. a pineapple sideways. Oh, that that's one's one good, too. Favorites. Yeah, that's a good one. I've, I've learned a lot of insults from Tom. I don't use them hardly ever. But but it's it's good to have them in your your I guess your repertoire, repertoire if you need right. them you know like I have like in my head like I always you know fuck yourself with the cactus sideways you never know when you'll need and it and somewhere in there is unlubricated ooh yeah <clears throat> but I can never remember what order he puts things in. Because that's the other thing. Tom's able to, like, word things perfectly just off the top of his head. And I am I sometimes need a little work. He is a very clever potato. He truly Honestly, is. Honestly, it was, it was one of the things that drew me to it. He has a way with words. You, your English is your bread and butter. It just works. Eh, it's fair, yeah. Oh yeah. God, Viv's back. Viv, did you did you <laughs> did you have did you have the tasty dinners? What'd you eat? What'd you eat? Did you eat anything good? <clears throat> we we got off on a tangent. We started talking about food too. <clears throat> mm. Mm, food. I had I ordered uh we ordered dinner in last night and I got prime rib from this place down the street from us. Oh, Chinese takeout. We haven't done that in a while. We might have to do that this week. Mm. What day is this? Wednesday? It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Um, it is Thursday. Wednesday. Tomorrow. Oh, so you said that too. That's Friday. Thursday. What a Friday, concept. Friday. All right. Settle down, Rebecca Black. <laughs> you know who she is, though, so... <laughs> It worked. I've yes, I I too have been on the internet for a, a considerable amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Zach wants a Don't. Taylor Swift Rebecca Black. Oh band. God, Ooh. no, no, <laughs> no! <laughs> I cannot <laughs> stress <laughs> enough. But NS is here. Putting no. out a, a new old album this week, so I mean, she's absolutely relevant. God, listen, people like you will always find Taylor Swift relevant. I'm sad that Sydney's gone because she she would she would join in on the the love fest for for Taylor Swift. Good gravy. NS, how are you doing, bud? How has your week been so far? Are you are you doing all right this week? I know you've you've been having a rough a rough time of it here lately. We've uh we've we've talked about all kinds of shit tonight. It's been Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a night. Crap, I'm gonna have to chase someone tomorrow because they keep ignoring that one. Guys, you can't do that. Don't chase someone. Send an animal after. It's, it's much, it's much less taxing on your, your legs. No, we, we bought another company last year, and so occasionally we get misdirected mail from them. And when we get misdirected mail from them, it's extremely important that we send out the misdirected mail for them within 24 to 48 hours. And this case has been sitting since Monday, 
in a basket I think no one's looking at because no one reads my report. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That'll happen. You gotta read the documentation. So... You gotta read the fucking docs. So I probably gotta reach out to the person and be like, hey, 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 have you looked at this? Uh-huh. And I, I gotta figure out how to word it because I'm not their boss, but also um, I don't want to have to deal with this next week and be the one who sends it out when it's like now a week late. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's a pain in the ass. It's, you know, don't you hate it when somebody else makes something your problem that should have never been your problem to begin with? Like, I mean, I guess theoretically it could take it to the soups, but that sounds like riding on people, and I'm not even really trying to do that. I just really want this to get done. You know, I... I'm telling you, that's how I that's how I kept Jon snowing is by doing shit, just getting shit done that other people should have been doing or it was their thing to do originally. And I'm just like, I will do it myself. Well, that's how I figured out I wanted to be an analyst. So I guess it it, it wasn't totally Jon snowing myself. But... It's true. It's true. It's that's what analysts do. They figure that shit out. I just I have this I have this thing that I'm waiting for NS to tell me what it, what the good and the bad news is about this week, but I uh, no, I can't sleep chat, so you have to update me. Yeah, but I got um I have this little thing that sits up here, so I have the soundboard that I don't use right now, and I got a couple of things that hang on it. So like I've got these these NFC stickers that I can that have they're stickers that have NFC tags in them that I can like encode messages on. I have this little three D printed thing that's like a it's like a 3d print of the microsoft logo since it's all just squares anyway but you know they 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 rotate and stuff i have have this picture of sabrina because she's super cute and then i she is is, she's totes adorbs and then i have this thing so this thing it is it's a shiny majig and I got this when I got the my first Xbox One. I got the day one Xbox One. And so they gave out like day one Xbox Live gold cards that you could get. And so I have this. And it's this it's this metal card. And it was it's my day one Xbox Live gold card that I got. So I just think it's neat and it, it hangs out right there and I look at it. Because it looks neat. I think one, you look one. neat. Your face looks neat. Thanks. Yeah. Face's face looks neat? Question mark? I guess? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I've I've never seen your face. Right. I don't I could be a figment of all of your imagination. I might not exist. I no. Well, somebody coded you really well. That's fine. That's fair. Compliments to the Lockhart. It's true. He did. So, well, no, that's an Archer reference. Never mind. You won't get it. Never mind. There is no list, and I won't watch that movie. It's it's a it's a TV show, but same thing. TV shows are just short movies. <laughs> they're just movies. They're just movies broken into chunks. Yes. They're Clifford is inspected movies. and legal now. I bought a rack to protect my back window, and it was almost 80 degrees today. That's good. That's good. It's it's getting to be that good springtime weather. That's good. Now I'm waiting for the bottom to drop out. Oh, God. A miniature giant space hamster. Ken, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> A miniature giant space hamster. God, do what? not like. I really don't yourself. know. I don't know how more specific he can be. Yeah, uh, like you, you said it yourself. I, I swear to, it's like it's like. I don't should, know what else you want from him? No, I don't. Baldur's Gate. Do I look like? I, no, I don't play games that require you to use your brain. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, f- I fly around our Minecraft realm and see what everybody else is doing. Oh my yeah, god. You just build the most complicated redstone thing on the entire server, but you don't use anything, do anything that requires your brain. No, not at all. Ooh, the, <clears> the money <throat> thing oh, is tough in us. Yeah. 
Okay, so real quick, um, let's let let us do another roll call because we haven't done that in a little bit. So we do have a couple of guests with us tonight um, that I'm I'm just so excited that we had on on voice with us. Uh, we do have Elena and Lollipop who you know join me basically every stream, um, but tonight we also have the Alley Beth. Hello. And we have hip to be hippie, my friend Andrea. Hello. And they they were they've been with me tonight while we've been talking about brain stuff and mostly just coping with all of this shit. The single best ranger ever built in the second edition D ever. Okay, see, I listen, listen, I okay. One, I don't Baldur's Gate. Two, I didn't D and D until third. Okay. Um, three, what the fuck is a miniature giant space hamster like? You say this, and oh, all I can it. think, like, I just, that's it. That's all I got. Nothing. I got nothing. <sighs> okay, but you've seen what the little miniature hamster. I, okay, let, let me find this. It's a. It's just it a miniature a, one, but giant and in space. It's a small, large cosmic rodent. I hope that clears it up for you. Yeah. I'm not really sure how to make it much more clear. You said all the words you need to say. Like, there are no other clarifiers to identify it. It is a miniature hamster that is giant in space. A miniature giant space hamster was a giant space hamster that had been miniaturized. <laughs> they were identical in size to regular hamsters. I don't... I don't... Understand. All right, so it was actually the opposite of what I was, but it's still. What? The... <laughs> I swear to God, kid, I feel like I feel like fucking I feel like fucking Marlin in Finding Nemo when he's like getting the the exit instructions from the from the little tiny from Squirt, the little turtle. It's like it's like he's trying to speak to me. I know it. Like, listen, you're <laughs> you're really cute, but I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> At least you think Ken's cute. He is kind of cute. And... Bow chicka wow wow. Bow chicka bump bump. No, don't do not do not start the Kool Aid Man discussion. We are not having the discussion about fucking Kool Aid Man yeah. and his erogenous zone. We are not having that discussion <laughs> here tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. What? Naughty, naughty Kool Aid. Nope. Not, never mind. I don't want to know. I was going to ask the question, and I'm like, nope. I'm nope. Not. Nope. You do. Nope. These, there are things that a soul does not need to know. Wait, what line did I use? I don't know what line I used that that was in Baldur's Gate. What? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I have no idea what's going on around me at any given point. All I know is I still have that picture of Elliot up on my screen, and he's a very good boy who looks semi-distressed, but he's getting cheese, so it's okay. That's because I distressed him for the, the good of the chat and had made him meow. The squeaky wheel gets the, the squeaky, grease. The that's not a Baldur's Gate thing. That's, that's, that's like a, that's that's a generic a thing. That's, that's the, a society thing. Like That that's, was well before Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I I know I know you I know you're not very like. Well, sh shut the fuck up, <laughs> ginger ass fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ, let me have this. <laughs> have one of these. <laughs> God damn it! No. Oh. The squeaky wheel gets the grease is from 1955. Oh my God, we're gonna. And Baldur's Gate was not around in 1955, so. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say that Baldur's Gate stole it from common usage and put it in your brain, but the rest of us know it from common usage. Fuck you, NS. Fuck you. Fuck you. Older than people your parents' age. Fuck you. I it mean, is not older than people my parents' age because my father was born in 37. Well, listen, that's... Dang. Does your dad like, count? Like, he all he does is just creepily send us a 
piece card. of mail, a card every once in a while, and just says hi, I, and I'm like... I mean, being that my half-brother has a child that is one year younger than me, so... No, not really. Uh, <laughs> Friday. So, the fact that... That's that, that's all your father does, and your father's the better parent. I'm just wanted. I just want to let that sink in for a minute. Yeah, right. that's the one who mostly leaves me alone is the better parent. Woof. And he's been leaving me alone since like ten. Friday's Evan. gonna be such a shit show here. I swear to God, Friday's just gonna be just absolute fucking bonkers. And Bonk. if I'm not feeling horrible, I'll be here to make fun of you for it. Yeah, but ooh, NS ooh, trains ooh. last for fucking ever if you take care of them. Trains are fucking incredible. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more than that to get banned, trust me. Plus, Tom's not here. Tom would Tom would ban you for funsies and then just let you back in and not say anything. <laughs> Friday, descent into chaos. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's going to be so, so, so fucking hilarious and bad and amazing. I'm going to love it. <laughs> You know what's Descent. funny though, is I basically did that today. A kid asked me to block him on YouTube so he stayed focused on his work, and I'm like, okay, cool. So I turned the block one, and then like 15 minutes later, turned it off because it's like, I, you know, it's blocked. So why would you go? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or right, and I told him I was like. I'm going to do this for you today, but you've got to learn, dude. Like, just don't go on fucking YouTube. In, I didn't actually say fucking. But in, in, in the kid's defense, everybody's a fucking idiot in middle school. Oh, but, oh they are. Hard. I adore them, but they are just something else. God. Um... <laughs> Miniature giant space. This is this is absolutely. Did you know, did you know that your husband had miniature giant space hamster eyes? Uh, the, I did not. He he has the um, capacity. Did you did you I, know about pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows? Uh, no. I've maybe no. heard of that. I, I do. Now it's stuck in my head, thing. But you, now you're I welcome. Find Caleb you, Swift to you, drown it out. You know what else I know about? Charlie! No. Charlie! <laughs> like that one. Go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Let's go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Shun the non believer. Shun! Shun! So, <laughs> God, whenever, I took my freaking kidney. Whenever somebody <laughs> says Charlie, though. All I think about wait, sorry, Sunder's dying. No, it's fine, I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry about it. This is this is okay. a normal occurrence. Okay, okay. I die at least one person. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you bit me, Charlie. <laughs> that's it, that's the one. Charlie bit my finger. I love I don't know why I love that video. Oh my Charlie, god. Charlie, you bit me, Charlie. Oh my god. <laughs> that's oh. what I think of anytime. And I had like at God. one point, I had a student who would just say it all the time, <laughs> but they were so fucking good at oh it. Oh my god! <laughs> like they had the accent and the voice. <laughs> no wait, no, it was my best friend. Oh god, no, it was my best friend who would say it all the time. Oh Jesus Eden, Christ! From the wedding, Eden. I remember Eden. <laughs> and she would just say, "Charlie, you bit me." Good, good fuck. <laughs> In her 20s. Yeah, that's not, I'm pretty sure she still does. I tell you oh what, God. man, like, th at your wedding, there was just, there was just this phenomenally interesting cast of characters at your wedding. Like... It was... It was yeah, it was something else. It was just amazing. Like, just, wow. Just, I love it so much. And I didn't even, I didn't even invite the weird... Like, oh. there was some family that did not make the list. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think we all have family that doesn't make the list. Topic for the next group therapy night. Can a ghost and a zombie come from the same body? Yeah, obviously. We, we decided.
right at that. Yes. Yeah. A ghost is a spirit. I think we already had that conversation. We decided that yes. Yeah. A zombie Done. On my ghost. <laughs> I don't want zombies <laughs> on my ghost. <laughs> yeah. No. Wow. That's, no. Wow. Wow. Cut chow. Oh God. Well, yeah. This is. Oh boy. No, no. You had to. You had to be there, Viv. You had to be there. <clears throat> uh, See, we tackle the important topics here. Either. Wow. 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 We only we only cover the important things in this channel, like mental health, anxiety, and zombies versus ghosts. That's that's basically it. And apparently, miniature giant space hamsters. A uh, uh, fucking apparently. <laughs> A uh, fucking parent. With, with eyes. With eyes. <laughs> my they, husband they, apparently has. They have eyes. Apparently. <laughs> so I'm apparently they have fucking eyes. Definitely. I'm definitely not going to just like sit there tonight as like we're getting ready to go to bed and be like looking at my husband's face and thinking that. Like that's nope. not going to happen. Nope. Not at all. Not even. Not even once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go. Oh, honey. You're. Your, your miniature giant. <laughs> you can't even say it without cackling. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I think we've broken Allie. See? See, but Ken? Don't miniaturize anymore. Ken, Ken got it. Miniature giant space. <laughs> don't at me. <laughs> don't at me, he says. Uh... God. <clears throat> Could you imagine, like, being a ghost and then, like, seeing that your body <laughs> turned into a zombie? <laughs> and so, like, like uh, what do you do? I feel Wait, like this is an anime well, subplot. An well, anime subplot. What happens? I, I'm sure. What, what if this happens in all of the zombie movies, but they're just ghosts and we can't see ghosts, so we don't know that they're ha it's happening? And they're just like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You want. You want a ghost movie that's happening during a zombie apocalypse? A ghost movie you want it that's from the ghost first perspective. So, would you like haunt your own undead body? I feel like I would try and kill my body because my body is no longer me. I would spend a lot yeah. of time trying to move objects, and it's like on its head. <laughs> like well, do no. some crazy poltergeist shit. No, right. The real question is: Are we like? Are we like little ghosty tail can fly around and do whatever we want ghosts or are we just like people but we can't be seen like this is important detail because if i can fly around i'm just gonna go flying around i don't give a shit at that point no you're gonna go looking you. for poops okay let's not even pretend you're okay just gonna go looking for i'm boobs. gonna fly around looking for boobs okay <laughs> let's not even pretend that it's going to be anything other than looking for boobs let's just not let's just not lie to ourselves like that NS NS I when I, if I'm driving stick I do the I do the neutral jiggle too. It's not just you. I just haven't driven stick in a while. <laughs> NS actually having like actual conversations here. <laughs> a ghost. Excuse attack. me. My husband's love for boobs is definitely an actual conversation. Well, no, it's it's okay. Let me a, a, a new conversation. All right. <laughs> I think I think we've talked about that from both his and my perspective. So the, those that's a topic I mean, we've we have covered. I think we we have indeed decided that boobies make us smile. Yes. I mean, I had not had the conversation with my husband about what he would do as a ghost with his desire for seeing boobs, but all right, sure. I mean, at that point, I thought it was basically understood. Like, I thought we just knew. I mean, yes, but no. Uh, but didn't you though? But like, didn't you like really don't like at this point? Like, you're y'all are y'all are over five years in now to this whole marriage. The, don't you do, come on come on come on come on you know you f you fucking but, know but also i'm just sitting here thinking about but if it goes to what's boobs like are you just looking at zombie boobs like <laughs> i wouldn't but i could like it's <laughs> it's an option at that point I don't well i mean boobs but if there are, are no all right. If there are no, no survivors, 
There's got to be survivors. This is a zombie story. There's always survivors somewhere. Yeah. They're always but would you prefer somewhere. the zombie boobs? Because then the zombies don't really have the ability to consent because they're zombies anymore. I'm, okay, I'm not going to go sexually assaulting as <laughs> at anyone as a... Oh my god. And with that... <laughs> if I was a zombie, would it be sexually assaulting me if you were looking at my zombie boobs? And, oh my god. And that's... And, and that's... You need to push the button again. Button. <laughs> <laughs> there. The button has been pushed twice. Okay? Let's just all all of them. Uh, every button done, done. Everything's done. We we are beyond fucking done here. What an exit. Wow. I'm pretty sure I landed more gracefully on my trying to steal those sea lanterns. Wow. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying there are some questions that need to be answered here. I just want you to know, Viv, this is all your fault. This is <laughs> this is entirely and completely your fault. So congratulations. You now have the same role in this channel that you do over in Ken's, and that is getting blamed for all of the shit. Oh my god. This is This is just wow. Well, that's gonna do it for fucking group therapy night. Jesus Christ, what a fucking shit show this devolved into. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks a lot, bud. <laughs> I mean, talking about boobs is uh, therapeutic. I IMO. Sure, sure. If that's if that's what works for you, that's fair. Oh my God. Um, I don't think you're gonna get find many therapists willing to work with you on that one, Chris. <sighs> Jesus Christ. You people you people are are you people are you fucked. Us here. I know. Whoa, 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 you people. That's what makes me fucked as well. Um so thank you as always to the crew for being here with me. Um and special thanks to our our guests tonight on on voice, uh both Ali and Andrea. It was an absolute pleasure having the both of you. Um you're always more than welcome to come back anytime you want. Um so don't forget that Friday night, Friday night we're not playing Minecraft. We're not playing Minecraft on Friday. Is this is going to be weird, and I don't know what to do about it, and I, I have no idea what's happening. Um, so it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be You're fine. Gonna play Frack I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna play for Herdy Fertnert. Herdy Fertnert. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Yep. So. So doing Fracknif on Friday with Tom and Ken and uh, Amanda, Queen Eris. Uh, they'll all be here. Um, it's. Oh boy, we are gonna. Fertnert, Ermagerd, Fertnert. So. Ermagerd. Um, so I'm. I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, we we are going to go through this first Fortnite experience together as a family, um, so you know that's going to be fun. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's Can about I raid it. Fire? Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm thinking about raiding. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and raid fire. Um, so we're gonna go see our buddy Firepower. Um, just so you know, his channel is family friendly. So be nice, be respectful. Don't make me have to come find you and kick your asses. There's a raid message. Use it if you would like. Let me get everything. We got it all out. We're good. Okay, you good? Are you all right? Yeah. We Gucci. You Gucci. <laughs> as, as, as the youths say. All right, let's... Uh, <laughs> let's see here. I'm going to get this set up. All right. Um, by the way, uh, if you had fun tonight and... God damn it, I know I did. Um, look, we're only four people away. We're only four or six six followers away from hitting that 100 follower goal so that I can do that yeah. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate three-month subscription giveaway. That's 45 bucks worth of value, and it's I think now it's in the neighborhood of like between I console and show, PC. As usual. It's like, I don't know, 500 plus games that you get access to because you don't just get Game Pass. You get... Um, 
you get EA, uh, what is it, what's it called now? EA Play is what it's called now, I think. Um, so you get access to EA's catalog as well on both console and PC through the Microsoft Store. So yeah, tell your friends, follow the channel. I want to give this thing away. Um, I'm very, very excited that we're so close now. Um, but until Friday, when we play Fartnoff, <laughs> I can't even say it. I can't even say it anymore. Um, we'll uh, we'll see you on Friday night. Thank you all again for for coming to hang out, and see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>